Very good morning to all of you. Uh, with the permission of our learning director, Mr. N.G. Sherpa, I would like to begin today's training on conducting criminal trials and art of cross-examination for advocates. Uh, today, we have with us uh, Mr. Jayanta Narayan Chatterjee, learned advocate from High Court of Calcutta. I request our learned director to kindly welcome our resource person by offering a khada and a memento as a token of our appreciation. Consequently, I would like to request our learning director to kindly read the profile of our resource person. Before, before going deep into my discussion, first I shall thank to the director, sir, and of course I shall I shall pay my respect, my regards to the honourable CJI of Sitim, who has nominated my name to come over here. I am grateful to him also. And I am honoured as I have got a chance of coming over here in Gangtok. Gangtok is a, one of my favourite places. Though I have gone almost half of the, uh, almost in different countries, I have gone to Switzerland, I have seen young flow, top of Europe, but Gangtok is a different city. Gangtok is a city near to our heart. So when I got an opportunity of coming over here, I accepted the chance. Though initially, until now, I'm afraid I do not know how far I can be able to make you understand regarding the interest in criminal field of law. First, you have to learn the language. Language, I'm not saying about language means English language. Language means the language in which the local people speak. That is very difficult. Sometimes young lawyers, they say that, sir, I do not know Bengali. I do not. Sometimes I have seen even, I have heard few persons who are from Delhi, Punjab, Haryana, they were saying that I do not know Gurmukhi. But these languages are very much essential. Number one, to become a good lawyer, you have to learn the local language. Why? Because a complaint will be lodged mainly in local languages. So if you want to be a good trial lawyer, you have to learn the local language. Be it Bengali, be it Sikkim, whatever. When you are appearing in Darjeeling, you have to learn the local language. Otherwise, you shall not be able to communicate with common people. Otherwise, you shall not be able to exchange your ideas, your views with your client. Look, number two, first remember language is very important. Number two, three D's are important. Uh, the Honorable Director Sir also stated regarding three D's. Discipline, dedication and determination. Until and unless you are having three D's with you, you cannot be able to become a good lawyer. Maybe you can be a lawyer, but I am telling about good lawyers. Three D's are important. Once again, discipline, dedication and determination. We, we the students of law or we the young lawyers are not always equal to all. Some of uh, us, uh, they might have uh, got their education from a very good school. Some of us, we do not have the background of good schools, but we, are, we also have to have discipline, dedication and determination. We can do that. We can do this. I can win. This determination, 
this dedication and discipline you have to have. There is a line in English, a lawyer must be a thorough gentleman. Remember this line forever, a lawyer must be a thorough gentleman. When you will walk through the way, when you will walk through the footpath, people will say, look, a lawyer is going, look, a gentleman is going. A the, the subjects of law which we have already studied teaches us regarding gentlemanship. A lawyer must be a thorough gentleman. Remember this line. Number three, the directors are also stated that good health is required. So discipline, dedication, determination, good health, gentlemanship, along with all these terms, you have to inject another word that is zeal. I can do this. In this world there is nothing which we cannot do. We can do everything. We shall try. Director sir another, said another thing. You can get everything in your fingertip. But the thing which you will not get, that is the art and, art and craft Art, art and craftsmanship of appearing in trial cases. Trial is an art, no doubt. And if for the entire day I, uh, I uh, delivered my lecture on trial, then also I shall advise you at least to appear in different trial cases when there is, uh, when, if you are not having any trial case in your hand, what you will do? Go inside a courtroom. Stand over there, try to hear what your seniors are saying. There is a language in Hindi, Tansen banne ka pahle, kya bano? Kansen bano. Kansen means you have to hear what your seniors are saying. I do not know whether this has been written anywhere or not, but this, is, this has been prepared by myself. Tansen banne ka pahle, Kansen bano. This I also state to my chamber juniors also. You will appear in cases. First go to the court. Hear what your senior advocates are saying. How they are managing the court. That is also an art. If I ask you a question, you, can you give answer what you are saying? See, see in this pen, towards this pen. What? You are eyeing at what? Right, the name. And I am standing over here. I can see this part, backside portion. And if a person who is standing over here, he could have seen the black body. Neither of us are telling lie. We all are telling truth. Then, what is trial? How a case can be fought? You are saying you are eyeing at the point, the nib. I am saying I am eyeing at this white portion. I am also not telling lies. But the person will win inside the court. The person who will be able to make the judge understand, no sir, that is not a white body. That is only a nib. Another person will say, no sir, that was not neither a nib nor a white body. That was a black body. It was a black body pen. One person will be the owner, uh, sorry, will be the, the gainer in the trial. Suppose an incident occurred, an incident happened. A lady died inside the house within seven years of marriage. There will be how many parts in trial? Do you know? How many parts, how many sides in trial cases? How many sides? One is prosecution. Prosecution will try to prove his case. One is defense side. Defense will try to prove his case. And there is another side also. No, the victim's side. Victim, she might have some other view. Victim, she might have uh, her own version. Always victim's version and prosecution's version is not matching. 
Remember this. One incident occurred. Housewife died inside the house. After the incident, a complaint was lodged. If no complaint is lodged by the family members of the deceased, then also an unnatural death case will be started. Right? Thereafter, if a complaint is coming from any family members of the, of the deceased, then a separate a case will be started. But after the incident, after the commission of the uh, unnatural death, all the family members were arrested. Husband, father-in-law, mother-in-law, uh, their brother-in-law, all were arrested. They are saying, no, I have not, we have not committed the murder. Prosecution is saying, I have to establish the case. Here, the deceased, she cannot say anything. And we do not know what happened in that, that case, only God knows. And the person who committed the murder, he knows. Apart from that, we do not know anything. But we have to unearth the truth. This is very difficult. We are not investigators. We are not detectives. Then how can we uh, unearth the truth? By way of examining persons. Who will, who will be the persons who will come before the court and will, uh, will give the depositions? We call them witnesses. Few days back, I was uh, trying a case that was started under section 302. A lady within seven years of marriage, he faced an unnatural death inside the house. And at the point of commission of that offense, at that point of time, there were the husband, he was in office, father-in-law, he was out of the house, out of the room, brother-in-law, he was also in his office, only mother-in-law, he did almost 85 years, she was in the house. Police initially arrested all the persons, case started under section 302. See, very interestingly, all the persons, father-in-law, husband and brother-in-law, they were acquitted, but the mother-in-law was not acquitted. Why? Because there is a particular section, I think that section you will face on several occasions, that is 106 of the Indian Evidence Act, that was not uh, properly answered. 106 Evidence Act, which says, when the mother-in-law was inside the house, she has the special knowledge what happened inside the room. Remember, one 85-year-old lady, she was initially all were arrested. She was convicted and we were unable to win the case stating no 85-year-old lady, she, this, is not, this was not possible for her to commit murder of her own daughter-in-law because daughter-in-law was young, Daughter-in-law was quite fit, strong, but mother-in-law was 85 years of age. And in these days, post-mortem reports are not, in my humble opinion, not conclusive. Because why, while I am conducting the <coughs> sorry, trial cases, I find that the post-mortem reports are not saying everything regarding the commission of trade. Death, though we place immense faith, immense trust upon post mortem report. In these days, post mortem reports they are even unable to say the time of death, when she was died, at what time. That was not also possible. Sometimes, in the opinion column, they say opinions are reserved till the viscera reports are coming, and viscera reports. They general, the visceral reports generally come after at least two years, one and a half years. Then for these long years, trial will not be commenced. Trial commences 
and generally without even the visa report, a person he faces trial. Regarding this case, prosecution was trying to prove the case that this lady was this lady is the uh, offender. She has committed the offence. Defence was saying no. By uh, this lady who is 85 years of age, he uh, she is not even unable to walk properly. This will not be possible her to commit the offence. Then question will have, question will come. Then who has done this? Why the lady, the mother-in-law, she was inside the home. She was inside the house. This is the duty of the mother-in-law to say what happened in that case. In one of my trial cases, uh, one day, what happened? One day I was in Alipur court. Probably you know about Alipur court that is in South 24 Parganas district. I found one of my friends is coming in a haphazard way. I, I, I asked him what happened. My friend was a very... Uh, he was in a he was a very jolly person he was quite a good student he was mba i found police is taking him i asked him what happened to you he said he married a lady he married a girl that was a love marriage and after his marriage the uh, his in-laws family they stopped contacting them because the marriage was not liked by them but they were happy. They started together residing in a rented house. They were staying over there. And on each and every date, at about 8 a.m. in the morning, he used to go for his office. At about 10 a.m., his wife, who was a school teacher, she used to go out. And on that particular day, when he was coming out, the landlady, she was standing on the, on the second floor, and she was uh, standing and uh, having a chat. How, how are you? Good morning. And thereafter he went away. This was seen by the landlady. At about 7 o'clock in the evening, while he came back, he was knocking the door. He thought that his wife must have been inside the room. And his wife will uh, open the door. But on that day, no one was opened the door. He informed the club members, he informed the local persons. They came and they broke open the door. He found his wife is lying on the floor of the kitchen. His head is, uh, her head is just on the floor of the kitchen. Blood is, blood was oozing out and she has already died. He informed his Family, uh, the family members of the wife, her, fa her parents only said, Oh, in Bengali, Oh, which means, Oh, our uh, daughter has already been murdered. Thereafter, police came, he was arrested, his, his parents were arrested, and after about uh, 200 days, he was enlarged on bail, and he started facing the trial. Then I entered into the case. And this I shall advise you, if possible, try to go to the place of occurrence and try to make a topography over there. The door, the room, how a person can enter into the room. Remember, he left the home in the morning at about 8 o'clock and that was seen by the landlady. Something happened thereafter. Now you appreciate, the landlady will be asked by two persons. Number one, prosecution. Prosecution will examine the landlady. And prosecution will try to show that landlady is not telling the truth. She has been gained over. This is to be remembered that prosecution, don't mind, don't take it otherwise because I am a defense lawyer, what I have felt. That is only I am saying. Prosecution lawyers, they only try to uh, establish their case. But remember, this is the duty of the prosecution lawyers also to honor the truth. You have seen onions, 
onions. You can peel off the skins of the onions. And lastly, the main thing will come out. The duty of the prosecution as well as the duty of the defense lawyer is like that. To bring out the actual thing. To bring out the main thing as it happens in a case of onion. But generally, they do not do in that way. Prosecution was trying to establish that this man, this boy, he has committed the murder. So prosecution was putting such questions that is there any chance of coming the outsiders inside your house? Generally, if anyone comes in the house, such type of questions were put to the landlady. Whether she has seen any other person or not. Remember, prosecution's target was to establish that at 8 o'clock, landlady didn't see the wife. Landlady has seen only my friend that he is going out. What does that mean? That means... She might have been murdered before 8, 8 a.m. in the morning. In this case, post-mortem report, that should have been much more prominent and much more conclusive. The time of death should have been given. But generally, in these days, doctors are not able to give the time of death. In that case, we have to rely upon the condition of the dead body. Whether rigor mortis was there, after how many hours of the commission of murder, if it is murder, the dead body was recovered, how many injuries are there. Remember, uh, prosecution also relies upon viscera. Viscera, what is viscera? Do you know what is viscera? Yes. Part of the stomach that is to be sent for viscera examination, and in viscera, whether uh, the report comes generally whether any poisonous substance was given to her or not. If any poisonous substance was not given, if a person is being uh, murdered by a knife or by uh, firing, then viscera is not required. Then, the type of injury, where the injuries were seen, at what place, in the body, in face, if it is in face, remember, if it comes, if the injuries are seen on face, chest, then it is very much appreciable or very much acceptable that the attacks were came from front side. Look, there are three types of unnatural death. One is homicide. Number two, Suicidal death and number three, accidental death. If you find the injuries of a on the body of a deceased, you can easily guess whether this was accidental or this was suicidal or this was homicidal. Suppose a person is going through the way, a car dashes him. That is an accidental. And if it is a case of accident, a person will try to prevent the uh, prevent the thrush by putting his hands. So there must be some, there could have been some injuries on hand. He is trying to defend, he is trying to uh, protect himself if it is accidental. If a person is going on the railway track, train comes, train dashes, then the type of injuries will not be equal if a person is being murdered. There can be some different type of injuries. And if it is homicidal, then there might not have some in any injury. He might have hanged himself or herself. The injuries are different. Sometimes prosecution also say that after committing murder, a person is being hanged. After poison was poured into his mouth, poison entered, thereafter he was hanged or she was hanged. Then also the injuries or the viscera reports will be completely different if a person is only hanged post uh, homicide and in nature. 
remember there are two types of post mortem reports post mortem and anti mortem what is post mortem post remember the name is sufficient to understand post mortem means after death and anti mortem before the death if the injuries are coming if a person dies thereafter he is choked then the blood may not come in that fashion but if a person is choked while he was alive then the blood will come out in heavy force isn't it so so you have to understand you have to think remember you have to dream that you were a trial lawyer you have to dream one actually uh, when i started my practice 24 years back i went to supreme court my dream was to practice before supreme court i faced so many senior lawyers all of them stated all of them advised that first you go and appear in at least 10 trial cases thereafter you come i came back i started appearing in trial cases after appearing in trial cases i found my root has been created the tree has been grown up i did not feel necessary to go back to supreme court once again i did not go because i found the trial cases are so interesting so challenging if i ask you a question you two and two what will be answered two and two you yes two and two four but why you are a lawyer you have to ask me sir two plus two if it is two minus two then i have not said two minus two or two plus two then why you are saying four it could have been 22 if i put a two just beside two this is the brain of a trial lawyer remember understood for a criminal lawyer two and two not always four two and two could have been zero two minus two zero two and two could have been 22 for that reason i said that no one is lying then how how the judge will give his opinion that you have uh, committed the murder or you have not committed the murder understood interesting na? criminal practice is interesting this is science this is philosophy this is art this is even literature you have to argue in a way judge will also hear you without uh, any any uh, what would i say any interruption he will not interrupt you okay let let the lawyer argue i shall hear his argument that is the literature that's why i was saying a lawyer will not always be a thorough gentleman he has to be a all rounder not record not record 100 in 100 while you were a lawyer but you have to get 70 in all subjects 70 70 70 that means you are an all rounder if you are only a batsman then you will not be success successful in criminal trial if you are a bowler you will not be successful you have to be an all rounder then only you shall be successful in criminal cases with a resume why what i was discussing I am again going to that case of my friend. I asked the Honorable Court, kindly allow me to go to that place, to the spot. I went there and I found that the door was a, a common door. If it is uh, pulled from outside, it can be locked from inside. At 8 o'clock, my friend went out that was seen by the landlady and the injury nature of injury what was the nature of injury which is very important yes backside that means and the dead body was lying on the no. kitchen floor i i was trying to think whether if any person comes from outside while she was cooking 
and give a blow on the head from backside, then such type of injury can occur. Question arises whether any blow was at all given. Then I found, going over there, a stool, like a stool, that was lying on the floor still, because police didn't allow anyone to touch. The door was sealed. Yes, door was sealed and I got the permission from the court to go over there to see the spot and I also took police, per, um, police help because police help is required. Otherwise, sometimes I find family members, they create trouble. They can create trouble. You are a lawyer of that person who is a killer, who is a murderer. I shall not allow you to enter. So police was there with me. Police opened the door. I started visualizing if a person comes from outside, he can enter into the room. First, uh, the person who is the killer, he has to uh, uh, he has to go to the bedroom. Thereafter, the uh, kitchen comes. He while she was cooking, maybe a person entered and gave a blow. She fell down. But why the stool is lying over there? And I found two chappals, two slippers. Those were just kept side by side beside the stool. This is unnatural because if a person is cooking, suddenly another person comes into the room and gives a blow, then the choppers will not be kept in that way. Choppers cannot be kept in that way, neither the stool can be placed over there. Then I understood that maybe she was trying to pick something from the uh, top cupboard standing on the stool. Maybe that has been slipped and she fell down on the floor. Her head was struck on the floor. Then I always carry, I always carry a high power torch with me and a magnifying glass with me. This also I shall advise to maintain with you. Remember, I am not saying that I am a detective, but I am trying to unearth the truth. For that reason, I am taking fees from my client. This is my duty. And while I was young, I was more energetic. And you people are young, and I think you shall be more energetic than me. Now I am more than 50 years of age. You shall be more energetic. So I thereafter, I found with the magnifying glass that few hairs are uh, lying on the floor with blood. I told the I.O. you didn't even seize this part. You didn't even seize this uh, uh, blood, uh, the, the hair with blood. <coughs> I.O. then once again seized those parts. <coughs> and ultimately I was able to prove that my lord, it was not a murder, it was an accident. Because while a person is coming to murder a person, he will first murder and then as soon as possible will leave the house. He will not keep those two chappals side by side. He will not keep the uh, stool in that fashion. That was my argument. But in another case, I must tell you, yes, it was happened in one of my cases, the person who committed murder, he first took up the phone, he deleted the last calls and thereafter he left away. In these things, these also we are getting. That the person who are coming to murder, they are so clever. Generally, police try to get the last calls. <clears throat> yes. Thereafter, they try to get the, uh, the, the photos from photo gallery. In these days, whether there was any indecent photograph of this lady, whether she, she was being blackmailed or not. In these days, killers are also very clever. They are, deleted, they are deleting the last calls, call records, they are deleting the photographs and thereafter they are leaving the place of occurrence. Yes. Was it an oral submission or did you file a formal application? Look, generally oral submissions will do. 
sometimes judges they can uh, direct the lawyer to uh, file it in writing sometimes oral submissions yes in one of my cases which is very famous tarachand banka and sarda devi banka murder case that was very famous case in calcutta and the servant who was working over there his name was kebal ram kebal ram was arrested and um, death penalty was given but subsequently one of our honorable high court judges justice ashim rai probably he uh, i heard that he came over here the case came in his court and after hearing he did not uh, give acquittal to that person but life imprisonment was given in sarda devi banka and tarachand banka murder case there were 47 injuries in the body of tarachand banka and there were 27 injuries in the body of sarda devi banka all were brutal in nature and number 2 all were blunt in nature remember blunt blunt in nature injuries there are different kind of injuries yeah. you know that yes. huh? sharp cutting weapon injuries uh, by sharp cutting weapon or by blunt weapon understood and even sharp cutting weapon there are some other uh, like the injuries if it is a screw driver if i give a blow with the screw driver the nature of injury will be different if i give a blow with a knife understood all of such kind of injuries and these things you have to understand you have to study not study you have to dream i shall tell that i shall advise that you have to dream when you shall be getting a trial case you eat that trial case you sleep with that trial case you dream with that trial case otherwise you shall not be able to be a successful trial lawyer because all were trying to be successful you are a defense lawyer he is a prosecution lawyer he will try to be a successful lawyer you are also trying to be a successful lawyer then then the person who will study more who will understand more who will dream more he will be successful <coughs> and if i am a judge you have to make me understand no sir he is not telling the truth i am telling the truth understand do you feel that it is interesting very yes or not very yes, very much thank you very much uh, so practical yes practical experience is required otherwise look i prepared on ppt huh? but this is also true that all of you can get that in your finger you just go to google to 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 get oh acha this is it acha so sarda devi banka tarachand banka murder case 47 injuries on the body of tarachand banka sarda devi banka on her body there were 27 injuries remember at that point of time servant was there and servant was unable to win over section 106 of the evidence act section 106 remember this is a big hurdle in a uh, criminal juris uh, criminal field of law <coughs> we are mainly practicing in defense side see see what is there see 106 of the evidence act read loudly so this is what i wanted to tell you kindly highlight on 106 we don't focus on that we hardly focus on that after the trial completes then we realize oh burden of proving yes was equally on both sides even to the prosecution also to defense also and i would like to request i would like to request uh, sir you were talking about a case of lady old lady was at house 85 years old lady was at house what was the case so we i would like i would like to know i'm coming i'm I, coming yes that is this funny. means you are getting interest <laughs> yes <laughs> don't mind acha what is 106 please loudly uh, read loudly in the mic in the mic a burden of proving fact especially within knowledge when any fact especially within the knowledge of any person yes. the burden of proving that fact is upon him yes that means in that case the where the mother in law was convicted exactly. in that case mother in law was inside the home only she has the special knowledge what happened to her daughter in law exactly otherwise who, who will come and depose 
because other other accused persons were not at the home at that point of time but in su different supreme court cases and in high court cases also it has been said that only 106 only upon 106 of the evidence act prosecution will not rely if there are other uh, other points other angles which are showing that towards the accused that only she and she knows the fact then only 106 will come but in most of the cases we are unable to win over this section remember this 106 of the evidence act when you will study supreme court cases try to get those citations where it is said that no only 106 only relying upon 106 a person will not be a person will not be hanged or a person will not be uh, penalized this is a special knowledge if you are getting cases of wife murder husband murder inside the home inside the house then 106 will come, 106 will be of the evidence act. Uh, sir, may I uh, share uh, an experience Mr. that I have done uh, yes. while conducting a uh, murder case, Michel case. Uh, though I have not done in trial, uh, trial court, that has uh, come in appeal. Uh, I was approached by uh, the father of the victim. Uh, in that case, what has happened is that a boy was taken to a house uh, by the accused person there. Uh, he was uh, the, he was set into fire, and uh, thereafter, as a consequence of that, he died. My submission in that case was that though prosecution has not proved the case, that was the major defect uh, defect um, in the case. However, my plea was that since hundred as hundred and six is there, the burden of proving the fact is uh, is on the accused person. The incident occurred in their house within the four walls of that house. Yes, yes, so yes. that way, the burden was on them to prove uh, the case. Unfortunately, I could not win the case because the burden of proving that was lies with the prosecution. Prosecution has not proved the case. Thereafter, my plea was not taken into consideration because the prosecution has not proved the case. Then only for that, in my question to you is that whether it is important to prove the, uh, pro, uh, it is important uh, for the prosecution to prove the case in order to like, uh, uh, like uh, the way I have taken it, I have taken defense of 106, that was not considered. The presumption was on them that it was them only who has murdered, that was not considered because, because of the reason that prosecution has not proved the case. So yes. My question to you, sir, so it is mandatory, it is it is that much important that prosecution will prove the case, then only the question of presumption under 1 and the 6 will come. If it is 106, then the burden lies upon the accused. So that accused, they have to prove. They have to show exactly. because it was within his or her special knowledge. That also was there. Plus, it was happened in the house of the accused person yes. in the presence. There were no other person in the house. No other so person in the circumstances, house. Circumstances, they did not explain. The yes, this is the training. Exactly. A defense lawyer, he has to take charge of 106. That's why I'm saying that, look, you have to understand the situation. Suppose husband and wife, they are sleeping on the bed. In the morning, it was found that wife died. Family members of the wife, Parents of the wife, they said this is an unnatural death. Body went to post-mortem. And in post-mortem it was found some kind of asphyxia. You know asphyxia? Some kind of asphyxia or some kind of injury mark over there. Then the person will be arrested. A case will be started against him. Either 302 or 304 or 304B. And the duty is of the husband to state what happened to his wife because you two were both sleeping together you know what happened to the wife sometimes in these days I found I find that two friends were going for a ride two friends were going for a picnic one friend faced an unnatural death this is the duty of the another friend to 
say what happened to the other friend. This is called 106. And when you will cross examine a person, you have to put a question. Look, regarding cross examination, I shall come. First, I have to finish the story of Tarajad Vanka, Sarta Devi Vanka. I, the, the, the matter was going, that was not a trial case, that was an appeal case that was being heard by the Aditian Chief Justice of uh, Calcutta High Court, Honorable Justice Jayanaran Patel and before the Honorable Justice Ashwin Kumar Rai. I prayed for permission to go to the spot. And Sarta Devi Vanka, Tarajad Vanka, created a huge roar in Calcutta. Two elderly persons were brutally murdered in the hands of servant. It was the news, headline of newspaper. So I went there and seeing me, local persons came, they gathered over there, they almost growled me. Police rescued me and police took me to the house. First I was trying to visualize where the dead bodies were lying. Number one, Dead bodies were lying in two different rooms. Remember, two different rooms. Two bedrooms were there. Sarda Devi Banka used to sleep in one room. Tarajad Banka used to sleep in another room. Servant, he used to sleep at, uh, in, the, in the same premises at night. So 106 was upon him. But remember, he is not at all an educated person. There was no good lawyer for him. This matter was being entrusted upon me by the legal services authority. I went there. I tried to visualize what happened on that day. I was repeatedly saying that there were 47 injuries in one body, 27 injuries on another body. Is this appreciable that when a person is being... Uh, uh, hit by a person, he is not crying, he is not shouting, then another person should have come and should have come and should have come, should have come to see what happened to the other person. If it is a case that both the dead bodies were lying in a one room, then I could have understood. But the bodies were lying in two different rooms. <coughs> and I asked the person, where were you at that point of time? He said, they, this elderly couple used to sleep till 11 o'clock in the morning. They were elderly person. And the servant, he used to go to the market. He used to bring vegetables. They were vegetarian. He used to bring vegetables. He used to cook. Thereafter, he used to go and he used to knock the doors. On that day, after 11 o'clock, when he found that no one is... Uh, opening their, opening the doors, he himself went, knocked the door and thereafter he pushed the door and found the dead bodies were lying. He informed his, their sons who used to reside far away. They came, police came, police arrested this person because two reasons. Two reasons are there. Young lawyers, you have to understand that police generally try to pick those persons who have no one to come forward. Who have no, who uh, uh, will not be able to bring good and senior lawyers for them. So they are the scapegoats. No one will say anything. A servant whose house is at Bihar, who is a poor person, arrest him. No one will come forward. Had it been a case, the elder son, elder son has been arrested, then we could have understood. Big lawyers would have come forward. So young lawyers, you always have to uh, appear in a case with your heart, not only with your mind, with your, with your heart also. So I went there and I found that injuries are, uh, several injuries are on the body. I asked him, where were you? He said, I went to market. Now, I tried to think that uh, who could have been the persons who could have entered into the house easily? The sons and daughters, they might have the extra keys with them. 
because they are the sons and daughters, elderly persons. Sometimes we see that elderly persons, they feel uncomfortable in the morning to come out and to open the door. So let there be a set of keys with all my daughters and sons. They could have entered into the house in the morning. They knew that uh, this name of the servant was Kebal Ram. They knew that Kebal, he, he generally goes to market at, this point, at that point of time. Since 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, Kebal is busy entering into the house commit the murder and then go away. But unfortunately, the trial was not dealt by me. This 106 Evidence Act, the questions, those were not confronted. Those were not contradicted. So 106 was not answered. In the, in the High Court at the time of appeal, uh, hang was uh, taken away, but, he, but imprisonment for life was given to Kebal Ram. Kebal Ram still is in the custody for the last almost 24, 25 years. This goes. Alright. Another case that actually um, created West Bengal people panicky, that is Kamduni case. Probably you have not read about Kamduni case. Go to the Google in your free time, see what happened in that case. <coughs> Kamduni case, Kamduni is a place one and a half hour distance from Calcutta that is in North 24 Parganas district and there were 21 families they are Hindu families over there and among those 21 families this victim girl she was the first girl who passed higher secondary examination means 12 standard examination. She was the first girl. Remember the standard of the village. In one side there is the fish very, I do not know very what is called. Very, do you know very? Yes. Very, very. Fish. <clears throat> very, what is the term? Alright, in one side of the road there are uh, jute field, in another side there are ponds, there are big ponds where the fishes are being cultured over there. Alright? This lady, this girl used to go to the college in the morning and used to come at 11 o'clock in the morning. At 11 o'clock, remember. His uncle, he used to sell chatu on the road. Chatu means no, do you know Chattu? Sattu. Sattu, we, we yeah. take Sattu. So this I am saying why? I am trying to portray the standard of the family, the economical standard of the family. His uncle used to sell Sattu on the floor, on the road and he used to get down on the road from the bus and thereafter his brother used to come. His younger brother, he used to bring a cycle and thereafter both his brother and sister they used to go to the home. This was the regular routine. The day was Monday. On Sunday, there was a lottery in, in the village. <clears throat> and five, six persons, they got the lottery. They got 50,000. And on that date, they were enjoying themselves. Those seven persons, they were enjoying just in front of a vacant factory. They were enjoying, they were drinking. They were taking meat, they were enjoying over there. They were playing, a, they were dancing with mic, microphone. On that day, the girl came from the bus, came on the road. It was started raining suddenly. The girl waited just under a big tree. Brother, he used to come from the village, he used to take his elder sister. Remember, near about Calcutta, a girl is being taken his, by his elder brother. This is not a very good picture. That a brother is coming to take his elder sister because girls are not unsafe. The girls are not safe over there. On that date, suddenly rain started. Brother, he also started waiting. Rain stopped. Sister was waiting over there, brother was waiting over there. Sometimes after both of them started coming. 
started working. She was coming by cycle, she was working. In, in the midst, there was the factory. And these seven persons, they were watching this girl for long. Num there are two, three reasons. Number one, in village, she is going to be an educated. This was not taken by them in a good or favorable manner. She is becoming a college girl. She, is a, uh, she will get a job. Number two, she was a good-looking girl. Girl comes. After a few minutes, girl vanishes. Boy with the cycle, she comes and she came in front of the bus stand. He asked the, his uncle, Kaku, where is my sister? Kaku said, he was, she was waiting over here. Thereafter, she left for village. Boy said, brother said, left for village. There is only one way, one, one road. I haven't seen her. She, he doubted something. He came, started coming back. Near the, villa, near the factory, he found those five, six persons. They are drinking over there. They are taking meat. They are dancing. He asked, have you seen my sister? They said no. He, the boy again went to the village. He informed the villagers. Then the villagers started running towards the way, towards the factory. And they found just behind the wall of the factory, the dead body of the girl is lying. This is not my, my story. The girl was torn apart till her belly. She was torn apart. She was ripped brutally and thereafter she was torn apart. This incident created a roar in West Bengal. Probably this is an incident of 2012 or 13. And Everyone was scared, everyone was feared to go over there. No one was going over there because there are some reasons uh, which I cannot say in this way because the government, they were not, uh, they were not supporting the victim's family. Be that as it may, myself along with my one junior brother, we were so traumatized, so sad after getting the news in television, in newspapers, we were thinking to help them out, but no one was there to stay beside the family. I requested few reporters, do you want to go with us? Initially they were afraid, but one of the very senior reporter, he was agreed and we I have not taken my own car. Another reporter, he gave me uh, his car and we started for Kamduni. The villagers, they wanted us to enter into the village. They wanted us to see the conditions of the village, the trauma, the fear, which was prevailing on the, inside the village. The local, few local persons who were politically biased, they did not want us, they did not want us to allow to enter into the village. We were going through the village, <clears throat> we came in, 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 a, in a certain uh, road where there are two, three ways. We were unable to understand even in which way we shall go. Suddenly a boy, I can very well remember, suddenly a boy of 10, 12 years, he came with a cycle, he just took his face away so that uh, we shall not be, we, shall, we are not able to see his face actually. He said, Siddha, Siddha. We again started going straight. Few minutes after, again we came in a place, there are two, three ways. We are not able to understand in which way we shall follow. We found a lady, she is washing the plates in a pond. The lady took his, we say ghomta, I do not know what you call ghomta or something, the, the, the cloth to cover her face and said, Siddha, Siddha, we went there. Which shows the entire village was traumatized. But the village persons, they want us to go over there to see the incident. But few people, suddenly we found the motorcycle 
riders, they are coming and they are uh, moving side by side, uh, moving just side our car. They are trying to see which persons are coming and enter, coming to enter the village. We went there and we found the girl was so poor. Till that time, his her history book was opened on a very uh, on her table. There was only one room. We sat on the dawa. We call dawa the veranda of the house. We promised them to help till Supreme Court without taking a without taking any fees from them because they were so poor, they were unable to provide anything. We knew, knew that. We stood beside them. We fought in the trial on behalf of de facto complainant. Remember, this is the tragedy of criminal jurisprudence that de facto complainant, they did not have, they do not have any right of audience. They cannot open up their mouth. They only assist the public prosecutor. They can give their written notes, but they cannot open up their mouth. Ultimately, three persons, they uh, were given death penalty. Three persons were given imprisonment for life. One expired inside the correctional home. That matter again, that has, that has come in the uh, list of the Honorable High Court for appeal. Why I am saying this? Two reasons. The, number one, criminal jurisprudence, I do not know why the de facto component has not given any right of audience. Number two, young lawyers, you have to fight for poor people who are unable to provide, unable to uh, uh, maintain a lawyer. Though there are legal services authority acts, though a free legal aid can be given, you people who appear for legal aid, Legal Services Authority Act, State Legal Services Authority, District Legal Services Authority, be the panel lawyer of District Legal Services Authorities, a State Legal Services Authorities appear for them. It will give you immense pleasure as well as immense satisfaction as well as immense experience. Yes. So, Kamduni case, we fought in trial on behalf of the a de facto complainant, I found that had I been given any chance of opening up my mouth on behalf of the de facto complainant, I could have told whatever I have in my heart. So I shall request you to fight cases not only from here, but please fight cases from the heart also. With that as it may, again I am going to Sardha Devi Banka and Tarachad Banka murder case. Sardha Devi, Sardha Devi Banka and Tarachad Banka murder case, the servant was unable to give reply to the questions regarding 106 of the Evidence Act. He was convicted initially given death penalty, subsequently imprisonment for life. Now I shall tell you another case. You know, in these days, uh, in West Bengal also there is uh, free mixing. Girls are freely mixing with boys. One case I am doing in recent phase, that a girl, she came to me and stated that he, uh, she had a friendship with a boy and they, it was decided between themselves that they are going to be married very soon. They physically became closer to each other, but subsequently, boy denied to marry. But remember, they were physically mixed with each other. So we lodged a complaint under section, which section? 376. 376. But question arises, if there is the false promise of marriage, will that come within the purview of 376 or not? Yes, different views are there. Different views are there. Question arises, there is a false promise of marriage. That is not, that we, uh, shall not come within the purview of 376. Number two, you are a ma major girl. You gave consent, that's why she, uh, he got the opportunity of 
mixing physically with you. Then we decided to depose in the court in a fashion that had there not been the promise of being married, I would not have given myself to the boy. There was the promise. I said that this will not be enough. We have to create something more. You may say that, sir, you, you, shall, you just said that no one will lie before the court. Now you are saying that we shall lie, we have to lie before the court, otherwise we shall not, we shall not be successful. My answer is no. I am not breaking the law. What I am doing? Bending the, huh? bending the law. Yes, stretching the law. I am not breaking the law, bending the law, stretching the law. We prepared a story. The girl was being called by the, by the boy in his house. Remember? The boy called, sorry, sorry. The boy came in the house of the girl. The girl went to the kitchen to prepare, uh, for preparing some food. The boy came into the kitchen. She started hugging from the back side. The girl denied. The girl protested. So, the girl did not give any consent. Understood? Yes. Up to this Please visualize. The boy came from backside, inside the kitchen. Number one, the girl did not go to the house of the boy. The boy came into the house of the girl. Number two, while she was cooking, the boy came from backside, started to create some physical relationship. The boy protested, remember, protested. She cried. She tried to go out of the house. Boy said, no, we are going to be married very soon. So let us uh, make some physical relationship. That means consent was given yes, in a fraudulent manner. I have given consent, I cannot deny. Because the house is in, uh, in a congested area. If she could have been shouted, that could have heard by other uh, neighbors, that was not done. So we have to think that how we shall prepare our case. There are three parts. Examination, number two, cross-examination, number three, if reply is required. So examination, remember, when you are on behalf of the de facto complainant, you have to attain the uh, the time when the girl is being deposed, you have to hear what the girl is saying, what the girl is saying, or what the what. First, you have to understand for whom you are appearing. Now, I am saying about the appearance of the de facto complainants, means the victims or the victims' family. When you are appearing for victims' family, you have to understand, you have to hear what your client is saying. What the victim girl is saying, because you are unable to open up your mouth. Criminal jurisprudence did not have, <coughs> did not give such power to you. Just hear what she is saying. You, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> you will get time to prepare your client. Call her in your chamber. Talk to her. Prepare the worst questions which can come from the cross, from the lawyer who is going to cross-examine the girl. Understand? I told her, when PP will allow you to depose at the time of examination in chief, then whatever you want to state. But remember, our main points will be whether there was any consent or not. You have to establish that there was no consent. If there, the consent I have given, if I admit this for the time being, that yes, there was consent, then that consent was taken in a fraudulent manner. Understand? Thereafter, defense will come, defense lawyer will come, and, she, and he or she will uh, start raising questions to you. Now, Give that away. Now you are a defense lawyer. 
visualize you are a defense lawyer in that type of case this you take in your mind or heart or in paper that first you have to learn where you have to stop if the duty of a defense lawyer is not to go and try to allow her to allow her to tell everything no stop her stop her if a victim gets an opportunity in the cross examination to establish his case then he will ruin the entire case remember visualize when you were a defense lawyer now i am a defense lawyer what documents you were required with you medical not only medical first is fir victim herself lost the fir right this is also true that fir is not the encyclopedia exactly but still when you were a defense lawyer you have to argue fir is the first information report first chance fir is the first chance of a victim to interact with police maybe fir is not an encyclopedia but when a person is going to lodge an fir all the memories are fresh why she will suppress why she will suppress he, he she is lodging a complaint for two three pages all the necessary things all the necessary article necessary particulars must have been given over there so remember contradiction is state is saying prosecution is saying victim is saying fir is not the encyclopedia this is not required to disclose everything in fir but when you are a defense lawyer you have to state maybe fir is not the encyclopedia but that is the first interactive chance in you got with the police and the memories are fresh you could have stated everything so take the fir this is the fir i am keeping over here next is charge sheet after investigation look if this is the case diary if this is the fir if this is the fir thereafter the case that means the case diaries are being opened 161 statements are there medical is there 164 164 is there all the documents are kept in the case diary case diary closed that means this is the charge sheet i am keeping the charge sheet over here and in charge sheet there are the 161 statements and the copies under section 207 what is 207 copies do you know what is 207 just open the book and read once acha shall i take a uh, cup of yes sir yes sir no no read it on record when you were a lawyer you have to argue for hours why break is required supply of entire documents to be supplied to yes read read once loudly read uh, may i read and just see from the the thing where i am not okay please read loudly <coughs> i think half of that section only i can understand uh, provided for the from that only provides the only there so may i have the book so i my voice is written loudly than i think the <laughs> my friends i just, you are getting interest na interest or i shall stop <laughs>
one, the police report, two, the first information report recorded under section 154, three, the statements recorded under subsection three of section 161 of all persons whom the prosecution yes. proposes to examine as its witnesses, excluding therefrom any part in regard to which a request for such exclusion has been made by the police officer under subsection 6 of section 173. So we have to read that also along with this. Four, the confessions and statements, if any, recorded under section 164. Clear to everyone? Clear to everyone? I need answer. Clear to everyone? Because I am here. Uh, I do not know whether I shall get any chance of coming over here or not. But till death, I am telling you, till death, please remember these things. Till death. Because I do not know whether in this way any other person will come and deliver any lecture no, or not. We are enjoying the, the Thank you very much. No, fin not, not yet finished. Please sit over there. Yes. And this, yes, yes. Not yet yes. finished. <laughs> yes. You have understood what is yes. 207? Yes. 207 are the copies upon which prosecution is going to rely. Yes. Apart from this 207, prosecution cannot state anything outside 207. Now please read 293 once. 293. Yes. Uh, it says reports of certain government scientific yes. reports. One, any document purporting to be a report under the hand of a government scientific yes. export to whom detection applies upon any matter or thing duly submitted to him for examination or analyze any and report in the course of any proceeding under this court may be used as evidence in any inquiry, trial, or other proceedings. proceedings under, this, under court. this court. What does that mean? That means scientific reports, post-mortem reports, sometimes FSL reports, in, in, in a, in a uh, 376 case, medical reports are, are all are required. So not only two, uh, 207, these 293 reports will be tagged with 207 reports. Madam, can I get a cup of hot, a hot, uh, or a hot tea? So, one more question with regarding to these additional documents, sir. So, usually, even when in discharge, there was a, I think, a case law of the Supreme Court only that says that if you are planning on getting a discharge, you can only rely on the documents adduced by the prosecution. Yes. So, the problem is sometimes there may be other documents that the defense can rely on but is barred by law from relying on to get a proper discharge, sir. No, I'm coming, I'm coming. Regarding discharge, I'm coming. I shall give answer to your queries. So, 207 plus 293. 293 are the scientific documents. Those will be annexed with 207. Prosecution cannot go beyond 207 copies, right? Now, while you are a defense lawyer, you keep this FIR, this charge sheet, and the, cop the copy of the examination in chief side by side. Side by side. Study. What she has stated in FIR, what she has stated in, uh, in, the, in the 161 statement, and what she has stated in the 164 yes, 164, 161, those, those we were getting from the charge sheet yes. and the examination in chief copy. Now you have to study, like a student of class 8, 9, 10, you have to study. Go, reading, start reading. Mark, this she has stated in FIR, but she has not stated in 164. Okay, she has stated in 164. But what she has stated in examination in chief? Achha, she has not stated this. These are the contradictions. Understood? Yes, sir. Understood? Yes, sir. You three, understood. This is the FIR. Uh, suppose one line, one very important line, like the boy came from back and started hugging me from behind. This was not stated in the FIR. 
but this was stated in 164 before the magistrate after one month after 15 days remember 15 days after this was stated and after one year mostly 376 cases are being dealt by fast track courts after few months after one year she has stated in deposition in examination in chief oh my god that means there are the exaggerations my lord sees these are the exaggerations maybe fir is not the encyclopedia but in 164, 15 days after, you are bringing new stories. After one year, my Lord kindly sees these lines were not stated. PP will say, no, my Lord, why, my Lord, if FIR is not the encyclopedia. Then we will say, maybe not encyclopedia, but those are uh, of immense importance because those are the first reactions with police. You were going before a police, and started stating everything when your memory is fresh. You forgot to tell. You forgot to bring these facts. In 164, you did not bring these lines. You did not state these things. In examination in chief, you were bringing this suddenly. <coughs> your Honor, shall we, shall we rely upon this? Shall we rely upon the version of the girl? Is she, whether she has come with clean hands or not, your Honor, she has not come with clean hands. The boy, maybe there was some kind of relationship, but that was consensual. Consent was there. Now the boy denied to marry. Now she has come with a 276 case. This is the defense version. And while you were appearing on behalf of defense, remember, don't allow the victim girl to state everything. Maybe she has forgotten to bring, uh, to bring something at the time of examination in chief, which she was stated in FIR, which she was stated in 164. Don't allow her to bring these cases at the time of examination in chief. Understand? Mm -hmm. This is the stand, this is the locus, this is the footing of a defense lawyer. Uh, may I, I'm so sorry, I think I'm interrupting in between. No, no. I'm missing my question. What is to be like, no, because we are getting this chance to interact with, with this also. Maybe I have little more practice uh, here. Maybe the, all my uh, sisters, like you know, some of them, have recently joined. I want uh, like uh, them to know uh, about this training program and the cross examination. What is uh, uh, like um, this, what is happening? What is going on about okay. the, um, the program? Uh, with this, uh, sir, I would like to put a question because this may be a new thing for us. Uh, like you said about de facto complaint. Uh, so we don't have much like no, we don't do it as a defective complaint in something like that we have never i don't think that uh, uh, hardly people like lawyers have appeared uh, in favor of uh, as a defective complaint so my question to you specific question to you is that the stage where a defective complaint uh, complainant can enter as a like a, in a trial or in an inquiry can you can we be um, the part of uh, the police proceedings of inquiry no. at the stage of inquiry as a de facto no. complainant? That is my question. No. De facto complainant has the right of audience only. Exactly. He or she will assist the prosecution only. Oh, at the time of trial only, not during the... No, at the, time of, at the time of raising objection at the time of bail, that is possible. At the time of anticipatory bail is possible. But there are some... Uh, and what is the benefit of uh, being de facto complainant? When you don't get chance at the time of inquiry of or the inquiry of the investigation, I'm saying investigation, <coughs> this investigation. No, investigation, investigation remember, yes. the in charge of investigation is yes. I.O. Yes. Not even we, IGSP. Yes. No. Can we help direct, indirectly from the back of the I.O. that, see, this is to be done. And uh, like uh, in the case of this nature, <coughs> like you said, uh, that uh, you went to that house, you found certain uh, here, and the blood stain was there, and you went with my magnifying glass. That you pointed that to, thing to the I think police officer. No, or at that point of time, I was a defense lawyer. Yeah, as oh, a defense. Okay. Yes, as, as a defense point? lawyer, I went there. So as a defense lawyer, because yes. my friend, yes, sir. he was arrested. Yes, sir. I took the uh, I took the responsibility of taking him out from the yes. case. As a defense lawyer, I went there. Look, while <coughs> Uh, you are a victim. While you are a victim, 
you shall get you shall get the notices from police which notice under which sections no someone is all right someone is all right you were the you were the victim yes 91 notice 91 notice 160 notice 91 i'm reading summons to produce document or other thing whenever any court or any officer in charge of a police station considers remember here please hear me i'm reading whenever any court or any officer in charge of a police station considers that the production of any document or other thing is necessary or desirable for the purposes of any investigation who will produce you have to produce you means the victim have to produce so section 91 again i'm reading section please read 161 160 please read loudly 160 apart from these two sections i do not think there is anything by which we can help a defecto complainant help a victim yes yes Police will call him, him or her. Police will call her to attend the police station to produce all the documents. What do you have? He, you suppose I am a victim. Police will call him and will stay, will tell that provide all the documents you have. Then I shall show the WhatsApp chats, the copy of the WhatsApp chats, wherein I shall try to prove. that his intention was from the beginning was bad he used to send me indecent whatsapps he used to send me indecent photographs in these days some it happens give me a photo give me your your nice photograph where are you i am in a party okay show me how you have uh, yes dressed up how you have dressed up No, no, no. It will not enough. Uh, show me something more. Show me something more. Documents are there. Documents are coming. WhatsApp messages. That means he wants me to see in that way. I denied. Thereafter, I left. Under section ninety one and under section one sixty, you have the de facto complainant or the victim. They have to produce these documents. understand understand you understand remember getting interest or like right, very good thank you so one more small question i remember the year of this or the back even the certain separate process for de facto complaints for sessions trials and magistrate trials because i think the supreme court has distinguished this because there is a certain way de facto complaints look i'm coming look uh, processes are always different case to case is has to be varied case to case you have to be you have to judge in one case my senior uh, he did so he did this so i have to do this don't do that i have uh, tried to show that keep the fir in one hand keep the 164 statements 161 statements the 207 <coughs> copies with you and the examination in chief copies uh, on another hand thereafter try to read together try to get the contradictions put those questions to the victim or the witnesses prosecution witnesses when you are a defense lawyer but your mindset will be completely different when you are a either prosecution with prosecution lawyer 
or you are appearing on behalf of defector component. You want to help out the defector, help out the uh, prosecution. So, by way of 91, by way of 160, you have to prove your case, you have to give the documents to the investigating agency. Now I am asking you one question. If you are an accused, can police call you in the police station? If you are an accused, 41A is for those offences which are below 7 years, but which are above 7 years? No. Yes, arrest? No. So many questions, so many persons, they have asked me one question. Are, mera sa, mera against me koi case hua, police mujhe pata hi nahi. Can I, can I not get at least one information from police station that look a case has been started against you? I do not know. Why there are some latches in criminal jurisprudence? At least in criminal jurisprudence, there is no provision that a police will go to inform in the house of the uh, accused, look, a case has been started against you, take necessary steps. No, there is no way. Sometimes you will feel, you will see that case started, there is no name in the FIR. Police submitted charge sheet. After giving few names in the FIR, the person against whom charge sheet has been filed, he did not even know a case has been started. Warrant issued. Thereafter, the person came to know that a case has been started against him. Why? Why this fellow I am asking, I, I always ask myself because I am a, mainly I am a defense lawyer. There is no provision in criminal code, criminal jurisprudence to inform an accused who is being incorporated in a case where the punishments are above seven years. So one more IP lacuna that there in the uh, ERTC is uh, this processor. So issuance of process. Yeah, supposing in some if the magistrate doesn't apply his mind, then a, a process is issued. There's no way to recall it. You have to go on a body ticket. Whereas if it's in a session spot, you can always go for discharge. Now going all the way to high court just to quash the summons, it becomes very problematic. A person can say, when I have not done anything, when I, when I have not committed any wrong, why shall I face the entire exactly. ignominy of facing trial? Visualize, try to visualize, a case was started against a person, police is going to his house, what will be the consequence in the area? People will start saying that he is an accused. Police came last night into his house. He must have done something. Two, three years after the person was acquitted. Who will return his fame? Who will return his reputation? No, there is no chance. For that reason, the duty of a defense lawyer is to be more stronger because he is facing, facing one person, he is trying to save one person. Now he will say, oh sir, there you, a defense lawyer will be more stronger, why? What, a, a victim is being represented by the prosecution. He also has to be more stronger than defense because justice can be given to the victim by the prosecution lawyer. When a case is being committed, sorry, when a case occurred, there are three sides, defense, a prosecution side, defense side, and the victim side. The duty of a judge is, the duty of a judge is to provide justice to all these sides, to provide justice to the defense, to provide justice to the prosecution, that means state, to provide justice to the victim also. After conclusion of a trial, if one side of these three sides says, no, I have not received justice, then this is the failure of the court of the prosecution. 
everyone will be happy. All right, I got justice. All right, I got justice. All right, state was able to give justice to the, uh, the defense, accused side, and the victim side. I do not know whether this is possible or not, but this I think, because this is the duty of the state, this is the duty of the court also. For that reason, courts were being prepared. For that reason, courts were being made. They will give justice towards all. They will give justice towards the prosecution. They will give justice to the accused also. To the accused also. Yes. Now I am coming to the question of discharge. <clears throat> I have already told you that in criminal jurisprudence for the first time, accused gives a chance of opening his mouth. When? At the time of hearing on charge. Hearing on charge only one word. I am innocent. I am not guilty. Then that's all. A person is regularly being called in the uh, court. He is waiting over there. He is hearing what the lawyers are saying. We are wearing black coats. I do not know what he is saying. I do not know what is going on inside the court. He does not know even English. He does not know anything. A person, a poor people, a farmer, a labor, a servant, maid servant, he is called down in the court. She, he or she is waiting in the court, hearing what is going on in the court. He is unable to understand anything. For the first time, he is being asked by the judge that are you guilty? He said, what you will say? He does not know. His lawyer said, they say not guilty, not guilty. So he said, we need those, we not guilty. Finished. Yes, these are the tragedies of criminal jurisprudence. For the first time, he gives a chance to open up his mouth at the time of 3.13. 3.13, end of trial, everything concluded. I do not know what happened, well, generally, uh, what is the tendency of Sikkim, but in West Bengal, I always find few questions are there and the answer is, I am innocent. I do not know. I am innocent. I do not know. Why? We also do like that, but if it is needed that we, some statement is to be given to that question, that is to be given. So, we have to... When I, when I appear in appeal cases, I find the judges are also saying, you did not take anything, any plea, you did not say anything. At the time of 3.13, you did not say so. All the persons which are inside this court, this room promise before me that at the time of sorry, 3rd in examination, you will give your accused a chance at least to answer. Ask them what happened. But remember, I have said, the art of cross-examining a person states about where to stop. Remember, where to stop. Don't allow the person the prosecution witness to state everything, but you. This is your duty to talk to your client, make him prepared, make him prepared. Take a defense version, take a defense case. At least once at the time of three thirteen. Now please once read three thirteen loudly. examine the accused in every inquiry or trial for the purpose of enabling the accused personally to explain any circumstances appearing in the evidence against him, yes. the court A. may at any stage without previously warning the accused put such questions to him as the court considers necessary. B. Shall after the witness for the prosecution have been examined and before he is called on for his defense, question him generally on the case, provided that in a summons case where the court has dispensed with the personal attendance of the accused, it may also dispense with his examination under clause B. No oath shall be administered to the accused when he is examined under subsection 1. The accused shall not render himself liable to punishment by refusing to answer such questions or by giving false answers to them. 
the answers given by the accused may be taken into consideration in such inquiry or trial and put in evidence for or against him in any other inquiry into or trial for any other offence which, uh, which, which, which such answers may tend to show he has committed. The court may take help of the prosecutor and defence counsel in preparing relevant questions which are to be put to the accused and the court may permit filing of written statement by the accused as sufficient compliance of this section. You have read the section. I do not know if you have, uh, you have grasped it, grasped it. swallowed or not. I do not know. Once I am reading. In every inquiry or trial, inquiry you understand, inquiry, I-N-Q, inquiry you understand, I am not going into that. For the purpose of enabling the accused personally to explain. Here I am pausing for a moment. This is the chance where, where accused is getting a chance for the first time to explain what happened. Again, the accused personally to explain any circumstances appearing in the evidence against him. This is the most vital thing. Questions will put to him. <clears throat> Prosecution witness number one stated that you were inside the house when the offense occurred, when uh, the, the dead body of your wife was recovered. Suppose I am asking a question in a murder case. Husband is an accused. He is over there. Lawyer is asking, PP is asking a question or the judge is asking where, whatever. PW1, PW1 is the suppose mother of the victim girl. Mother. Mother is the most vital witness when a girl is being murdered or faced an unnatural death. Mother said that while my daughter was murdered or while the dead body of my daughter was recovered, husband was inside the house. Questions were put in this way. PW1 stated that while the dead body of your wife was recovered from the bedroom, you were sleeping just beside him. He said, normally he says, I am innocent, I do not know. No. Here I want to state to you, allow your client, allow your client while you are a defense lawyer to state, Na hujur, mai toh waan nahi tha. Na hujur, I went to the market. Na hujur, I went to somewhere else. If you were able to bring a defense version, then there is another very interesting chapter. That is defense witness, I shall come. That means you were prepared. When you were saying that, na hujur, I was not there. That means you were trying to bring out a defense version. Again, I'm reading. The accused personally to explain any circumstances appearing in the evidence against him. The, what was the evidence which was going against the um, accused? Evidence was he was inside the room. He was sleeping beside his wife. If he is a friend, he was riding a motorcycle together. Then he has to say, no, Hujur. She was riding the motorcycle alone. I was not there. I was with one of my friend. I was gossiping over there. Or I was market. Then question will come, who has seen you? Yes, my another friend has seen me. That will come in DW, defense witness. In most of our cases, we do not even take the pressure or do not even take the challenge of bringing DWs. Yes. For that defense witness, I, um, I think we need to discuss more on this point. Uh, so, so what we uh, normally like uh, as a lawyer, I, I I have not done so many criminal cases. Uh, I do at, in the high court also, all matters. I'm dealing with all kinds of matters. Uh, like in a trial court also, I'm equally practicing at the high court and the trial court. Also. Very nice. What is the problem uh, in understanding the examination of defense witness, like uh, what they do? They will examine the prosecution witness, uh, witnesses. After the conclusion of prosecution with consequences, uh, the conflict certain will come. Likewise, you said, sir, that we will put question to accuse which you wanted to bring by way of defense witness, okay? A, a, a lawyer who is having little knowledge of that, that will definitely, like, a lawyer will do that. But before that, what we have to do is that some kind of suggestion has to be put to the prosecution witnesses also. Then only you can bring 
that uh, like uh, defense. You have to link your um, defense with the prosecution version also. You have to put some kind of question like the mother of, as you said, that the mother of victim was examined. Oh, your um, damat was not uh, there on that day. He was in another place. Uh, like uh, your daughter was with some other person or something, some kind of what, what, what are the defense you are putting? Like you know, what, what, uh, what are the case you are framing? You have to frame the case from the initial stage only. That is Absolutely. what we missed. Absolutely. Okay. After conclusion of like a prosecution case, then only we started realizing, oh, I have to bring different witnesses. Out of the blue, they will bring some witnesses like that will destroy your whole case. Even if prosecution witnesses like no support your case, you yourself will put uh, yourself into a trouble by examining defense witnesses. So we have to think how we have to produce defense witnesses. That is very important thing. You have to put some clue to the <coughs> prosecution witness. Okay, some suggestion has to be put to the... Yes, suggestions. Yeah. Very important that term. You, have to, you can link that. Now you have to come to 313 saying that, oh, you, he has to explain the situation. It is upon the uh, accused to, like, one, uh, as you said, 161. That also needs to be in, taken into consideration. Presumption. That is also, we have to read, I think, I believe so. I want the 313 has to be read with that. Presumption is always on the accused. That we have to explain that. That also along with that. And then only after conclusion of 313 and I.O., you have to develop your case by linking the, all what suggestion we have given. Then only you will be able to prove your case. Otherwise, all of out of the blue, you will bring some witness who will say different version which you wanted to say. But you missed the major part of your thing which you ought to have done um, well examination or prosecution witness. That Madam, that's why I was case. saying that you have to eat trial case, you have to uh, sleep trial case, you have to dream trial case. At the very beginning, you have to prepare on your your story, that is called defense story. Achha, for my satisfaction, for my satisfaction, once I am reading a particular section, that is 173. What is charge sheet? What is over there? Remember, while we were discussing regarding criminal case, charge sheet is the basis of Remember, charge sheet is the basis of beginning of a trial case. Understood? What there is stated in uh, 173. I am reading. Please hear me. Huh? Please hear me. This is very important. Report of police officer. I have said police officer. IO is the in charge of an investigation. In every investigation under this chapter shall be completed without unnecessary delay. Skipping. The investigation uh, in relation to the, an offence under 376, 376A, 376AB, B, C, D, D, A, D, B and 376E of the Indian Penal Code shall be completed within two months. I hardly find anything within two months. Police is completing. From the date on which the information was recorded by the officer in charge of the police station now, part 2, subsection 2. As soon as it is completed, the officer in charge of the police station shall forward a magistrate, forward to a magistrate empowered to take cognizance of the offence of a police report, a report in, for, in the form prescribed by the state government stating, these things are important. When you are getting a charge sheet, please try to get whether these things are there or not. The names of the parties, the nature of information, the names of the persons who appear to be acquainted with the circumstances of the case. Who are the persons acquainted? Important. Whether any offence appears to have been committed and if so, by whom? Remember, charge sheet filing means there are charges. And if there are charges, this part is very important. Whether any offence appears to have committed and if so, by whom? Whether the accused has been arrested, whether he has been released on his bond, so and so. Now I am telling you a story. Few months back, a poor mother and father, parents, they came to me. Their only daughter, who was a student of class 11, who used to stay inside Midnapur, some Balika Vidyalaya, that, so that was a residential school. She was studying in class 11. And the parents were so poor, so poor, they were not able to keep the girl with them 
That's why the girl was given to that residential school where she was studying. One day, she was, they were being informed that come to the school, your girl, your daughter committed suicide. They ran over there, they went over there, they found that the girl is hanging. The girl is hanging with a gamcha. Remember, while she was wearing a churidar, the girl was hanging with a gamcha and while her legs are folded on the stairs of a, uh, we call that chilekota. I do not, chilekota, do you know? Uh, second floor, top room, single room, single room, top floor. That is called chilekota. The small room, generally those are small rooms. On the roof. On the roof, yes. Understood. So legs are being touched with the stairs. And there were some, um, uh, some uh, food type uh, articles, those were lying over there. Police submitted charge sheet stating, maybe a case of murder, but you do, I, we do not know who has committed the murder. This is not being allowed in the one as per 173. If you are saying that 302, then you have to say who are the offenders. This part says like that, whether any offense appears to have committed and if so by whom. You are saying 302, but you do not know who have committed the murder. This is the duty of the police to take out the truth. Remember, what are the articles by which it could have been understood easily regarding or the at least the, um, at least the angles by which one can presume that these persons could have been committed murder, number one, that was a residential hostel, girls hostel, outsiders are not mainly allowed. The, there was a gamcha, whose gamcha that was, whether that was the gamcha of the girl or not. If a girl is going to commit suicide, then she might have taken her orna with her. With orna she ha might have commit, committed suicide. Her legs are touched on the... Uh, uh, stairs, is it possible when she, uh, her legs are touched over there, in the pressure can come on the throat or not, on the neck or not, number one. So we came before Honorable High Court under Article 226 stating 173 does not support this charge sheet. You were saying might have been murdered, then who are the killers? Like, like Jessica, murdered by you, you do not know who committed murder. Honorable High Court gave further investigation by CID. They said CID will go and will investigate. If she has committed suicide, then who are the habitors? Commit committing suicide is not the end of all. If 306 is there, then there must have been some habitors because 306 speaks about abetment to commit suicide. Then who are the abettors? Who stated her to commit suicide? If this is 302, then who are the culprits? Goes. Uh, in in uh, Calcutta, there was another murder case. The name of the boy was Junior Mritha. Junior Mritha, you can very well understand Mritha is the title of a Shidul tribe person, poor person. Uh, father was the fan of Junior, who was a footballer of Brazil. And as per his name, he gave the name of his son as Junior. Junior Mrida was a software engineer. Very handsome, having good physique. Junior Mrida used to work in Sector 5 Salt Lake. He used to go over there with his motorbike. In the evening, he used to go to the gymnasium. He used to attend gymnasium. And in gymnasium, he met with a girl named Priyanka. Priyanka said that Priyanka is alone, she is unhappy. If Junior can be a friend of Priyanka, then Priyanka will be happy. One day, Junior came to know that Priyanka is not unmarried. Priyanka is having a son of 10 years. And Priyanka is the daughter-in-law 
of a famous business family of West Bengal. Businessman family of West Bengal. And when Junior Amritha came to know the fact, he was annoyed and he denied to meet with Priyanka anymore. One day, when Junior Amritha came to the house, uh, came back to uh, the house from his office, a phone call came. Suddenly he was taking preparation to go out. His mother asked, where are you going? He said, Priyanka called me up. I shall just meet her and come back. Mother said, don't go. Don't go. When Priyanka ditched you, Priyanka is not ready to mix you. She is a liar. Don't go. Junior did not, uh, Junior was not ready to hear the advice of the mother. He went away. At night, a phone call came from Shagur Dattu Medical Hospital that your son faced an accident. You please come to the hospital. Both the parents, they came over Shagur Dattu Medical Hospital. Police told that in Belhoria Expressway, that is the expressway, uh, he made an accident over there and dead body was lying over there. Initially, he started crying and he, while he was crying, keeping his head on the chest of his son, he found one injury on the shoulder. He started shouting that there is one injury and blood is oozing out from that injury. Police initially stated, no, no, this is an accident case. He was not agreed to that call. He uh, shouted along with the friends of Junior Brinda who were also uh, software engineers. They came from the office to the hospital. Senior police officers came and subsequently in post-mortem it was discovered that the, a bullet which was entered from the shoulder which is struck in just hip portion. That means someone sat while he was riding a motorcycle and fired, keeping the pistol over here and the bullet came downstairs and struck here. Yes. Police submitted charge sheet under section 302. Remember, section 302 was given because bullet, bullet injury was there. Bullet was recovered from the hip portion. Police was unable to deny that. Police gave charge sheet under section 302 but could not tell what who were the killers, who were the murderers. Murder came to us. We went to high court and said, section, as per section 173, when you were saying, uh, yes, 73 CRPC, when you were saying that this is a murder, this is an incident of murder, you have to say who are the murderers. Then police said, as initially complaint was lodged against the family members of Priyanka, they said that we have asked them, narco analysis was done, lie detector test was done, nothing has come out. We came before High Court and state, the police, Calcutta police will not be able to do anything. Give the entire investigation to CPI. And that was done. You, you must have heard about Justice Obhijit Ganguly. In these days, Obhijit Ganguly is giving... The one who had the video recording in the body. Uh, yes, but, but the fact is Obhijit Ganguly in these days giving some judgments regarding the uh, service matters. The persons who are not getting uh, service, but they have the capacity of getting justice, get, getting service. In he uh, gave few orders which uh, have shaken West Bengal regarding. You can also get in Google. Twitter also. Yes, Twitter, Google. Yes. Mm. So justice matter came up before Justice Obhijit Ganguly, and after ten years of the incident, matter went to CBI. CBI started investigating the case. Why I said so? Because 173, it has immense importance in criminal investigation part. Understood? So this is also, you have to remember that when charge sheet has, charge sheet has been filed, you take the 207 copies and start reading what is written over there. Then you have to prepare a story. We shall proceed in this way or we shall proceed in this way. We have to prepare a defense argument, we have to prepare or we have to negate the prosecution version in this way. Now, the question of 
framing of charges have come. At discharge, discharge has come. <coughs> discharge under which section? Do you know? Yes? 226. Okay, let me see. 226 on SI, 245 on case without an SI. Okay, let me see. 226 of CRPC. But, read, read, please read sections there after I shall, I shall start. Discharge, if upon consideration of the record of the case and the documents submitted therewith, and after hearing the submissions of the accused and the prosecution in this behalf, the judge considers that there is not sufficient ground for proceeding against the accused, he shall discharge the accused and the Which section you were reading? 227. Okay, 227. You were saying about? If upon consideration of the record of the case and the documents submitted therewith, and after hearing the submissions of the accused and the prosecution in this behalf, the judge considers that there is not sufficient ground for proceeding against the accused, he shall discharge the accused and record his reasons for so doing. Now you read section 239. Yes. When accused shall be discharged, if upon considering the police report and the documents sent with it under section 173, understood? 173 is charge sheet. Charge sheet 5. You are getting the copy of 207. Understand? And making such examinations, if any, of the accused as the magistrate thinks necessary and after giving the prosecution of the accused an opportunity of being heard. The magistrate considers the charge against the accused to be groundless. He shall discharge the accused and record his reasons for so doing. That means you have to file an application. Judge will apply his mind on the basis of what? Yes, on the materials he is getting from where? From FIR, from, from charge sheet. But most of the defense lawyers, they do not like to go under section 239. They do not like to... Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Achha, we shall again, con again continue from discharge. Huh? Yes, yes. Okay. That is very important. That, 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 that is very important. Please complete this point. Like to file any application under section 239. They do not like to file any application for discharge. Why? Why? Suppose you have seated everything. Huzur, sees in one uh, in FIR, nothing has been stated in written complaint, nothing has been stated in the uh, charge sheet also. No witnesses have ever stated anything which goes against me. No witnesses stated anything under section 161 uh, statement. No medical is there. Medical do not incorporate me. You stated everything. But your defense has been disclosed. If judge is denied your prayer, then you will face trouble at the time of facing trial, at the time of conducting trial. So, most of the defense lawyers who are experienced, they do not like to file any application for discharge because prosecution will understand, oh, achha, this is your point. Okay, note down. I shall take it, I shall see you at the time of trial. Oh, achha, this is the lacuna. The girl did not sit anything in 164. Okay, I have to take care of. Oh, achha, no, no witness has stated anything. Okay, he will advise his junior, eh? note down, note down. We have to take care. And he will face big trouble at the time of conducting trial while you are a defense lawyer. Understand? Yes. Bas, again, in the next phase. And we are the
said that for the sake of defense version, for the to protect the defense version, can we cross-examine the prosecution witnesses later on? Answer is yes. At least we do. If we please come to section 231.2.1. I'm reading. 231.2. 231 is evidence for prosecution. 2 is the judge may in his discretion permit the cross-examination of any witness to be deferred to be deferred until any other witness or witnesses have been examined or recall any witnesses for further cross-examination. <coughs> Suppose there are 10 prosecution witnesses and the defense lawyer, he prepared a strategy, he made a strategy. He will not put the cross, he will not complete the cross-examination until and unless they, all the examination and chiefs are over. Of all the witnesses. Of all the witnesses. He has to make one application that we do not want to disclose our defense version. We shall cross-examine the prosecution witnesses later on after finishing all the prosecution witnesses. And as per section 231.2, this is possible. But here there is a word. The judge may in his discretion. There is a discretionary power. But this is possible. Here it is stated that, uh, uh, do you know, uh, suppose, suppose all the prosecution witnesses were examined. Can a prosecutor, can the in charge of prosecution, PP, he ask for recalling of the old witnesses once again? Is it possible? Yes. yes. Under which section? 311. Right. Under section 311. But under section 311, this is possible. If <coughs> prosecution witness, Ranit PP, in charge of prosecution, he feels that some more questions are required, some more angles are to be brought out from the mouth of prosecution witnesses, he can call for the prosecution, re examine or the prosecution witnesses once again. That is under 311. But in these days, Supreme Court says you cannot bring their prosecution witness and cannot put questions for long. No, that is not that will not be possible. In these days, Supreme Court said first you have to pick up the which questions you want to put. Write those questions to the judge. Let the judge apply his mind whether these questions are required or not. Thereafter, he will be allowed. Understand? Suppose a murder has been committed. PW1 was one of the eyewitnesses. But he probably did not say anything regarding the sketch map or some documents were not exhibited. This part I, want to, I wanted to come, exhibit part. How a document can be exhibited? How a document can be exhibited? Section 393, you have read. 393, probably, I, I was yes, reading. Yes. 393. Yes, finality of judgment and order of Oh, no, not 392. 293, probably. Yes, 293. 293, you have read. Once again, I'm going to 293. When we were discussing about murder, when we were discussing about forensic science laboratory reports, when we were discussing about post-mortem reports, certain documents are to be exhibited. Those, ex Achha, which are the documents which could have been exhibited? Which are the documents? Suppose this is an FIR. Required? Yes. That is to be, this is to be exhibited. Achha, if it is exhibited, then suppose 
exhibit one. Exhibit one. This is exhibit one. And the signature of the complainant who was either the scribe or anyone, the signature of the person who has written this FIR, his signature is also to be exhibited. One by one. Signatures always will come as one by one, two by one, three by one. This is very important. You have to learn. So whenever you will get a chance to go through the documents, go through the records, explore. Explore how the records are coming before the court, which are the records. So FIR is exhibited. Number two is very important, is a sketch map. Sketch map of a place of occurrence. Sketch map is re required. Why sketch map is required? Sketch map is required to show the place of occurrence. If, if that was a murder, how the dead body was lying on the floor, you will find that police generally mark that push, the dead body, generally mark how it was lied on the floor, how it was lied on the road. Police generally mark the, the uh, outline of a, where the dead body was lied with a chalk. Do you know what is called that mark? That is called X mark on the spot. X. X mark on the spot. Topography, why that was required? Suppose a person was murdered, a person was tortured, a person was uh, raped. The investigating officer, he has to show the place of occurrence. Then the nearest, nearby houses. Where are those houses situated? Was it a congested area? Or the houses, the nearest houses are far away. If she has cried, uh, cried uh, out, whether there was any chance of hearing that cry, whether there, there was any chance of hearing that shout, so sketch map is required. In one of my cases, that was a case of Darjeeling area, uh, the boy in these days, I have started liking him. He is presently out of the custody, but the appeal matter was going on. Uh, his trial was not conducted by me. That was conducted in Darjeeling court. There, there was a puja in a house. There was a puja. The victim, along with the accused and along with other witnesses, they were witnessing the puja. They ha have went over there and they were witnessing the puja. At about 10 o'clock, there was a dispute, jostle between the two or between the two, three. The boy, who is a victim, he left the place. Few minutes after, maybe 40, 45 minutes. Remember, minute is minute was playing a vital role in this case. At least 40 minutes after, the boy went to the house, went to his own house, called his mother. Mother found stab injury on his belly, and he died only saying, I am dying. My marrahu. I am dying. Only said this. He did not say, Ma, wo mu, usne mujhe mara. Remember, he uttered three words, Ma, my marrahu. 45 minutes after, he came into the house. When I got the responsibility of appearing in appeal matter before High Court, when I was reading the uh, prosecution witnesses, I found one person, his elder brother, he was saying, when he was coming uh, to the puja area, he found that our accused, uh, suppose his name is Rupesh, our accused Rupesh was brandishing a knife and was saying, Tujhe mai mar dunga. Remember, but that was not corroborated by anyone. On the other hand, one of the prosecution witnesses said that when he was coming to the puja area, there was no light at all. Yes. How he got the opportunity of seeing the brandishing of the knife? Number one. Number two, no other witnesses supported PW1 that he was brandishing a knife. At the same time, he was saying, Tujhe mai mar dunga. 
on the other hand the principal witness in whose house the puja was going on he said they were quarreling inside the room understood they were quarreling inside the room so the elder brother who was coming over there he did not get any opportunity to see the dispute or jostle out which occurred as per his version which occurred outside the house so pw1 may be a vital witness but did not get any support from anyone number 1 there was no light number 2 the dispute if anything occurred that was occurred inside the home number 3 the principal witness in whose house the dispute was going on he said that was a verbal duel so there was no knife goes i brought this fact before the honorable high court and said who said that i have murdered i have killed there is another very interesting point i tried to establish before the court my lord there is a normal conduct of a person if he gets a brutal attack if he gets a brutal assault and if he feels that he is going to die and if he if he wants to punish a person he will say yes he will say the name this is the <coughs> sorry normal conduct of human being he did not utter the name number 2 the distance between the place of occurrence and the house remember it took 40 minutes to go over there where was he in between have anyone seen that he was with the rupesh and there is every possibility of committing the murder by rupesh the this is the duty of the court when the court will understand that this person and this person only committed the murder or committed the offense then only court will penalize a person otherwise benefit of doubt should go in favor of the accused if there are so many supreme court cases we will get that if there are two views are possible may be may not be then may not be will be taken up may not be this we was the accused yes in favor of the accused benefit of doubt will go in favor of the accused so i brought this fact before the court my lord kindly sees last 40 minutes where were he whether he was with this accused have anyone seen there was a dispute i am not i am also not disputing murder i am not denying then we brought the honorable court to the post mortem report post mortem in post mortem report the opinion of the doctor was this injury may cause due to fall on a pointed object yes pointed object or on a stone and darjeeling area that was a hilly area i brought this fact that was a hilly area maybe he has fallen down on a on the road then i brought another very important uh, witness who said that on that date there was a, it was raining on that date it was raining maybe he was slipped and he fell down on a uh, on a particular place there was a stone maybe the stone entered into his belly and there was another latches what was the latches you would have asked me where is the murdering my pun murdering my pun should have been recovered and there is another style of recovering murdering my pun i believe all of you know murdering weapon if a person goes if the accused principal accused he helps police agency to recover the murdering weapon then the ha huh? no the statement leading to recovery has to be exhibited yes, do you know what is statement leading to recovery yes. an accused may state a lot of things before police before police he can say a lot but the particular portion where he has stated if you take me with you to that place i shall help you to take out the murdering weapon i shall help you to take out the murdering weapon even if i disclose everything before police i have committed the murder that will not go against him 
as a consequence he died so the why no one has seen that that question has not been put to that in fact the suggestion somewhere has been made like you no know, uh, the regarding the place of occurrence there was no such suggestion like you know it was a hard surface like you no know, the difference of uh, the uh, point of meeting and the place of occurrence that is also very important that is that has not been brought in my this case and further the court has heavily relied on the statement which has been given by the uh, deceased to his family members and there is no question to um, that family members also like as you said that the statement which has been given by accused sorry this is can be relied upon provided it has some value or it corroborates with the evidence other evidences but in this case there are like um, things like which has not been put to demolish that statement which has yes. been like no which this has is a been, very important which, word demolition yes. uh, yeah there, demolition of the yes. prosecution demolition of the version of the prosecution that witness that is not exactly not been if done. that is unshaken yes if that is unshaken remember this term yes then that will go against the accused remember where there are no eye witnesses yes there's no then there there has to be the circumstantial evidence yes, if the there are circumstantial evidence yes. then motive will play a vital role exactly so that also i'm just feeling like no without any reason no reason he is there in the jail he is in he has been convicted by the trial court it is a fit case of acquittal there is no question to that effect now coming to the point of only on the basis of the statement which he has given to his family members the court has heavily relied because there is no demolition of that part of the statement that has remained unsecond so thereby the court has concluded that the em the prosecution has been able to prove the case so now i am having like why i put that question because that statement has been given to the family member so my contention would be that see the interest family members would definitely be a interested witnesses so therefore the statement of family member members cannot be relied upon no, but relied upon definitely say that where all the statement? all the depositions of interested witnesses cannot be washed out exactly. cannot be washed out but there must have been some other criteria is also other yes. criteria also otherwise a case cannot stand why am on yes. look i have said to take fir in one hand yes. charge sheet in one hand and the other documents including 164 so and so so and so first you have to see the contradictions which are the sorry which are the corroborations which are the corroborations then thereafter you, you have to take the contradictions and thereafter you have to take suggestions mm -hmm. suggestion will play a vital part in cross examination thereafter will come not a fact portion there are three portions first cross examine cross examine a girl or a person witness cross examine visualize which questions you will put start studying start studying which questions would have been favorable for you then suggestion ami bol hindi mein agar hum bolenge hum bol you can say in bengali also we love abhi in fact i understand like ami bolchi apni eta bolen ni so sweet language yes ami bol apni eta bolen ni there after the not a fact passport portion will come apni fir e ja bolechen sob mithe bolechen apni police er kache ja bolechen mithe bolechen eta apni dekhen ni এটা আপনি দেখেন নি দিস ইজ কল নট এ ফ্যাক্ট নট এ ফ্যাক্ট আই ওয়াজ নট গোইং ওভার देयर নট এ ফ্যাক্ট আই ওয়াজ নট প্রেজেন্ট ওভার देयर নট এ ফ্যাক্ট আই হ্যাভ নট সিন দা ইনসিডেন্ট ইন মাই ওন আইজ বাট ট্রাই টু ফ্রেম কোশ্চেনস হুইচ উইল নট বি আ বুমেরাং ফর ইউ এক্স্যাক্টলি এক্স্যাক্টলি দিস ইজ দা ট্রেনিং দিস ইজ দা ট্রেনিং ইউ মাইট হ্যাভ বিন ভেরি এক্সাইটেড ভেরি সেন্টিমেন্টাল Oh my God! A 13-year-old, 13-year-old girl has been raped. Oh my God! Brutally raped. You went into the court. You started asking questions one after another to the prosecution witness. No, of no use. First, visualize. What do you want? What do you think? I am giving another example. In one of my cases, the trial is continuing in these days. A lady. within 7 years of marriage he she committed suicide in this case we are on behalf of the defense accused persons husband father in law mother in law 
married sister in laws all are incorporated. We ask the neighbors first. First, I do not know why the PW1, PW2, the parents, they did not appear. First, the neighbors came for divorce. We asked questions. First, we uh, made, made a strategy for whom we shall appear first. For whom, uh, for whom, which accused persons, we shall try to take them out first. We decide to go for the sister-in-laws first. Sister-in-laws means nono, husband or bone. They stay far away. First, we have to see whether the prosecution witnesses are able to state that at the time of occurrence they were over there or not. Neighbor stated, Amra Dekhini, we haven't seen Bas. Amra Dekhini. That means the sister in laws, they came over there, either they committed murder or they abetted the offense, and you have not seen. You were the close door neighbor. One of the neighbors said, We knew that they are married and they stay somewhere else. Ghadonardin Amra Dekhini. Bas. Now, sisters are much more protected. Charge has been framed wrongly or fairly, I do not know. 302, alternatively 304B, alternatively 306. All the sections are given. Now, in my submission, in my opinion, charge was not fair enough, good enough for prosecution. Because, why? The definition of 302 is different. Where knowledge and intention both will be present. Understand? Yes. Knowledge and intention. I shall commit a murder. Remember, in a murder case, mother, father, sisters, married sisters, all were incorporated. Is it usual? If a person murders his wife even, is it very usual, normal, that he will call his mother, he will call his father, he will call his married sister-in-law? Sorry, married sisters? It is much easier for a husband, if he wants to murder his wife, to call a super a killer. He will, he, will, uh, he will bring his wife in gang talk, give a push. From hill, she will, get at, uh, she will go down at Shiliguri. So in this case, how we get sections? 304B? Yes. 304B was well, that is, yes, in this, in this part I want to come. 302? Knowledge and intention will be there. 304 B dowry death. The allegations of dowry death has to be there. Mother, I know if mother comes to depose, she will say, ah, yes, just before the incident, he demanded for a motorcycle. Remember, that means PP is wants PP he wants to bring the matter under section 304 B. Within the purview of 304 b demand, demand of dowry, that means 302 cannot be proved. If there is 304 b the allegations of 302 cannot be there. And if PP says, if prosecution witnesses, they say that uh -huh, husband, mother-in-law, father-in-law, all used to uh, tell her, Umar Bichateka Kiya, we go and commit suicide. Go and commit suicide. Then abatement comes. Then the 4B does not come. That means why I am bringing these facts to you. If you are appearing on behalf of prosecution, even first you have uh, also have to judge in which way you want to go. On the way for towards 302, on the way towards 304B, or on the way to 306. Not only, only, not only these verbal discussions are required. If it is 302, then how the murder was done? Hanging. I put you uh, in a, uh, I uh, put you in a either shari or a orna or a uh, <coughs> rope. I hanged you with the fan or with something else. Then the murdering weapon has to be recovered. If the murdering weapon is recovered, then 304B may be stayed, no, may, may be there, but 306 goes, abatement to commit suicide, she has not committed suicide, this is murder. If this is murder, 
then that rope or that sari or the part of owner has to be recovered. How recovery can be done? By way of statement leading to recovery. Ami police ke bolchi, tu mere diya mai niye jao, ami tumai dekhiye debo. Where I have concealed that weapon, where I have concealed that knife, where I have concealed that part of the rope, where I have concealed that part of the sari, will it be everything? No. That sari that has to go for forensic science laboratory. <clears throat> if there are the tissue marks, tissues, if there are the skins, understand? Otherwise, a prosecution lawyer cannot establish his case. Uh, sir, uh, in connection with your uh, this thing, um, Mr. Conversation, I would like to put a question uh, like, um, see, uh, whether it is important to record one uh, 27 statement prior to the recording of the, rec prior to the recovery of uh, the weapon, weapons of offense or not, or if weapons of offense is recovered, thereafter the statement is recorded. Whose statement? Uh, statement of the accused. But uh, the uh, weapon of offense has been recovered on his instances. So where How this is possible? Suppose yes. accused is giving one statement. Yes. First day. Yeah. Suppose he was he was in the police custody for ten days. Yes. In the first instance, what? In the first instance. You did not record the statement. Yes. You did not record the statement. <coughs> or in the first instance, you just recorded a formal statement. Vital statement regarding the recovery of weapon was not recorded. The defense will take the stance. That is very like Yes. Exactly. Defense will take the stance. All right. He was in the police custody for 10 days. On the ninth day, he helped them to recovery of the murdering weapon. But police forgot to, or the PP forgot to uh, exhibit that part. That will go in favor of the accused. Suppose a person was assaulted with a knife. That knife was recovered from the... Uh, um, from uh, the road of Gangtok, which is accessible and approachable to all. Anyone can purchase a knife and can throw a knife. That accused, he has to state, I personally brought this knife from that shop. He will take police to that shop. That shop owner, he will also give his statement under section 161 first. Then he will come before the court to depose and will say, not will say, he will identify the accused. Remember, he will identify the accused. This TI pallet portion is also a very important portion. The, as soon as possible, as soon as possible, the shop owner has to be appeared before the test identification pallet. Suppose the accused was arrested within one or two days. The TI parade was done after 25 days. Of course, defense will take a stance that why 25 days after? The accused was arrested on the next day and you took 25 days time for um, bringing the witness before test identification parade. That means he was, uh, um, the, the police, they have not come with clean hands. First, the accused was shown to the witness while he was the correctional home or he was the police custody. Thereafter, he was prepared and thereafter he came for test identification parade. Test identification parade will be of two types. Number one, shop owner or the eyewitness, he will identify the uh, accused. Thereafter, at the time of trial, once again he will identify the accused on dock. Suppose he did not identify the accused on first occasion, but he identified the accused on dock. Then will come the question of objection. Then the defense lawyer he has to give objection. This TI, this uh, identification on dock, I am raising objection. 
Next, exhibit, I, have, I haven't finished. Exhibit part. 393, sorry, 293 I was reading. Now, who are those persons? Who can exhibit the documents? Suppose, Forensic Science Laboratory experts, at the time of Visera, they found some kind of a poisonous substance in the stomach part and they prepared one report. It will not finish his duty. He has to come before the board, he has to state before the board, he has to, through him, PP will exhibit the Forensic Science Laboratory report. I am reading. Who are they? The, any chemical examiner or assistant chemical examiner to government, any chemical examiner, the chief controller of explosives, the director of fingerprint bureau, the director Hafkin Institute Bombay, the director, deputy director or assistant director of a central forensic science laboratory or a state forensic science laboratory, the serologist of the government, any other government scientific, scientific expert specified by notification by the central government for this purpose. That means they are the experts, their reports were brought before the court and only bringing the reports will not do. Those have to be exhibited. PP will exhibit, see, is this your handwriting? He will say, yes, this is my handwriting. Do you know what has been written over there? He may say, presently I cannot recollect. Then you go through this. This also can happen. If the director is unable to come, then who will come? Then the deputy will come. Then another question will be put to him. Do you know whose handwriting is this? He will say, yes, this is the handwriting of our director. I know the handwriting. Otherwise, it will not go. Understood? So, in this way, the documents has to be exhibited. And, question will arise, can defense also exhibit documents? Suppose, a girl committed suicide, writing a letter, Amar Mrittur Junno Ke Udai Noi, no one is responsible for my death, I am leaving this world. So, this is very important, no one is responsible of my death. Maybe he was suffering from depression. Maybe he um, was mentally up upset due to his office work. Maybe something happened to her by which husband cannot be entangled, by which mother-in-law, father-in-law cannot be entangled. The husband got this letter from the personal diary of the wife. He took the letter and kept it with him. So this was not known to the PP. PP will not exhibit this document because PP's target is to punish him under section 302. She has committed murder then. What you will do with this document? You can also exhibit through either prosecution witnesses or defense witnesses, DW. When DW will come into the picture, can you say? After the prosecution? After the prosecution? Uh, after the prosecution, evidences are taken. Yes. Yes. And not at the time of. After 313. Yes. After 313, DWs will will be brought, and through them this can be exhibited. Kindly, yeah. sir, I have a question about the place of occurrence in the sketch map thing. Suppose it's a FIR, then the police will make the sketch map. If it's a private company, and I want to. Uh, like uh, show the court the place of occurrence. Then, like, who's the authority that makes that sketch map? How can I? Of course, that? investigating officer. But if it is not, enough, it's a private complaint. No, private complaint in cognizable offence. How will it po will be possible? Uh, rape, murder, uh, decoity, uh, theft. They are private complaint. Private complaint means complaint case. Section two hundred. Yes. yes. By section two hundred, not, not possible. If there is the allegation of murder. If no complaint has come, then only a unnatural death case will be started. Understood? If a dead body has been recovered on, from
from the railway track or from a highway. No one lost any complaint anywhere. Is this the duty of the police to bury the, uh, uh, the death report? No. Police will start an unnatural death case. That is called, in short, UD case. Understand? Like Gantok PS UD case number so and so. After two years, a person suddenly came at Gantok police station with a photograph. Look, this is the photograph of my son. My son was missing for the last two years. Do you have any information in your police station? They will say, oh, this is that photograph. But we have already buried the case. Case can be reopened. Case can be reopened. Then a specific case will be started. That is called a specific case. Gangtok police station case number so and so, under section, uh, dated so and so, under section so and so, lodged by Mr. or Mrs. so and so case will be started once again. So, as you have asked, that if it is a private complaint, case started under, no, private complaint under section 200, 302 is not possible. And my, my, complaint, my complaint was regarding vandalizing of a car. So, in that, if I want to show the sketch map of where the car was, can I do that? This is the duty of the investigating agency to prepare a sketch map. If you wish to contradict that sketch map, you can at the time of cross-examining him. You can put a question. Ami bolchi ei garita ekhane chilo na. I have, this is my sub, this is my statement that this car was not at the spot as you have shown. That is called cross-examination part. That is called either suggestion or not a fact part. Understand? So as we were discussing, that prosecution also has to chuck out a plan at the time of framing of charge, under which sections they will go. If they want to go by 302, this will be very difficult for them to bring at the same time under section 304B. Though Honorable Apex Court has stated that charge, frame charges against 302 also, in a case wherein Within seven years of marriage, a girl died an unnatural death. But defense will get, or defense will try to get an advantage therefrom. If prosecution goes by 302, then prosecution will not be able to prove 304B because examination in chiefs will be different, cross examinations will be different. I am repeatedly saying about DW, DW. What is the role of DW? The bringing DW is not very easy. To prove DW, you have also to create a defense version. If required, we call that alibi. The alibi story you have to bring. And bring and establishing alibi story is difficult, not very easy. Because defense witness, defense witness, DW, they are coming at the stage of after completion of 313, that means he or she got the entire opportunity to hear the or to get the uh, copies of prosecution witnesses. They will get some kind of advantage to prove alibi. That is why DWs will also be contradicted by the prosecution witnesses. Understand? Number two, defense also, they, will, they can try to get some kind of advantage from Hostile witnesses. Do you know hostile witness? Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Look, if a person declared hostile, his entire evidence will not go. His entire evidence will not go. If he is declared hostile, remember, he will be cross-examined by PP. Just opposite to normal witness. He will be cross-examined by PP. Understand? <coughs> hostile witness we can get the advantage of the deposition of hostile witness till he declared hostile, till he declared hostile. Sometimes we find that a person was not declared hostile till he finishes the evidence. Then we shall, we shall take this advantage to the court, learned court, 
and say, look, he could have been declared hostile, but he was not declared as hostile. Why should not I get the advantage from the deposition of this witness? You have to study. That's why I was saying, you have to study each and every part. Until and unless you are studying the matter, you will not be successful. That's why I was saying, discipline, dedication, determination is required. In the morning I said, nah, these three terms, three Ds, determination, dedication, discipline. Now, on the verge of my conclusion of my uh, uh, delivering lecture, you will understand why I have said so. Until and unless you are knowing the uh, definition of hostile witness, how can you prove the, uh, uh, how can you take the advantage of the deposition of hostile witness? Suppose a person, PP declared a person hostile. PP started cross-examining him. You also have to protect yourself. Otherwise, PP will cross-examine. PP will take few questions from his mouth and thereafter PP will get advantage. You have to uh, visualize your sides. Today I am appearing for defense. Tomorrow I may get a case for prosecution. Then the way you fought for defense you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, absorb the same way of prosecution. Understand? Acha, another, another story I was saying. Oh, that, that matter is still going on. That trial case is still going on. Wherein a housewife, he, I do not know whether he was murdered or committed suicide, but he, she faced an unnatural death. Neighbors, they are saying that they have not seen the sisters. We have tried to take out the sisters. Thereafter, we, sh we are trying to take out the father-in-law, mother-in-law, because the death occurred inside the house. Parents were not there. Inside the house, there might have been the, uh, the chance of presence of the husband only and we have determined, we have uh, chalk, chalked out a strategy that we shall fight for the husband later on. First we have to, st we have to think what are the depositions of the prosecution witnesses. Let the parents come. Remember, here par what parents can say. Parents can hardly say that over telephone she used to complain that her husband is torturous, her husband uh, used to put pressure upon her either for uh, a motorcycle or for extra money, jewellery, then the case will be converted to 304B. If there are no uh, ingredients of 304B, then 302. In case of 302, there must have been knowledge and intention. Why a husband will commit murder his wife, upon his wife? Is there any reason? Then reason has to come out. Husband might have been uh, involved in some extramarital affairs or something. That is the duty of the prosecution. Let prosecution bring out those stories. That's why I was saying, in most of the cases, we are filing applications under section 231 subsection 2. Let the prosecution place his depositions, place his case first. In all cases, 231-2 will not get benefit of 231-2. But in some of the cases, we might get the advantage of 231-2. In some of the cases, we should try to get the advantage of 231-2 where the prosecution himself is puzzled. Why, where the prosecution himself is not very uh, confident about his own case. In some of the cases, we do not pray, we do not go for 231-2, but in some of the cases we shall go. This also I shall advise you. First, try to understand in which way prosecution is trying to take their case. This is a kind of chess play. You know chess play? Yes, yes. Chess. Prosecution gave a 
true court. But the prosecution gave up, gave his part, or played his part. Now you have to play his part, yeah, your part. Understand what is going on. First, your duty is to collect all the documents, and and when the uh, depositions are going on, when prosecution witnesses are coming to court, they are recording their dep depositions. You take the certified copy, or where certified copy is not possible. In these days, free copies are available. Court provides free copies. You write down what they are saying. Suppose in one you are roaming inside the court, you do not have any work today. Suddenly you heard a senior of your yes. bar yes. is appearing in one appeal matter, but you did not get chance to be involved in that appeal. You go and write down what he is saying. The way of putting questions to the depositions. The way how the defense lawyer is reacting. Write down. That's why I was saying, Tansen banne ka pahle kansen bano. First, you have to learn, you have to visualize your case, you have to judge your case, thereafter you can be successful. There are other so many parts. I have uh, given um, hostile witnesses, I have completed exhibit part, I have touched um, uh, other uh, reports from experts. That part I have also touched. Do you have any questions anymore? You can put. So during like in cross examination, uh, something or in the examination of the prosecution witness, something has come which is not mentioned in the FIR. Yes. So should I deny that, or I should let that? I I should not deny it. In at the time of arguments, I should bring it as a contradiction. No, no, no. At the time of argument, you will not do. You have to bring that in your cross examination. You have to bring. Uh, suppose a girl she has come with a. Complaint of being raped. Understand? Complaint. This is the complaint. Do you know what is this? What is this document? She will say, yes, I have, I have. This is my complaint. Who has written this? I have written this. Whose uh, signature is at the, at, the, at the bottom of the, your complaint? This is my signature. If a scribe is there, then that scribe is also to be brought before the court. And he or she also has to has to be asked questions whether the dictation was given by the victim or you have uh, written on your own understood victim she a uh, question will be put to her also whether you have dictated this complaint to the scribe or not if he says i have dictated then scribe a separate question have to be put whether you have written this complaint as per the dictation of your uh, of the victim or not, then we have to take out the contradictions or we have to take the corroborations. Contradictions we shall take, corroboration will be taken by the prosecution. Thereafter, the uh, signature has to be exhibited, that will be exhibited by the prosecution. As you have asked me the question, that this part was not written by you, Suppose in the FIR it was not written that after the incident I went to the uh, home and I stated everything to my mother. This part was not there. Mm -hmm. Then at the time of cross examining this victim girl, if she is PW1, first witness, then whether Apni Kage Kage Bole Chilen, a Gonata Keke Janto, this much. If you ask, whether this was stated to your mother or not, she will say, yes, I have stated to my mother. Remember, there is a term called leading question. Mm -hmm. Leading question can be put by the defense, by the defense. but not by the prosecutor. Then you have to raise objection. If PP asks in, at the time of examination in chief, Aapne ye kya aapko mami ko boli the? Then you have to raise objection. I am raising objection, this is the leading question. The way to put the question, the style you have to learn. As you have said, that Aapni uh, gharunar ko kake kake bola chilen. Kis kis ko aapne bola tha? Or boli tri? 
she said uh, yes i have stated this fact to my friends to my so and so so and so subsequently in that at the time of ex uh, exam when you were reading the examination in chief you said the mother she has not stated that this was stated to me also then you can brought you can bring this fact at the time of cross examining the mother apni to ami bolchi apni je bolechilen apnar mei amak apnake bolechilo eta mithe this is called shaking of a witness you have to shake the witness maybe you are not able to bring the actual fact from cross examination but you have to shake the witness you have to put all possible questions you have to give suggestions to the witness otherwise at the time of argument even learned court will not rely upon your argument you you have not stated this question you have not taken this question not even at the time of um, taking suggestions not even at the time of putting questions when you uh, ask questions at at not a fact not a fact portion no you did not take this question so first you have to visualize the way number 1 number 2 at the same time i shall state that strategy can be changed the strategy which was taken at the very beginning you will tell oh john jones has stated that visualization is required uh, first we have to chalk out a strategy i shall not change my strategy no that will not do if required strategy also can be changed but you have to dream about your matter if an appeal sorry a trial is coming to your way a coming to your chamber means that is the blessings of a god you have you are involved in one trial matter no doubt you are getting fees from your senior or not but try to be involved in trial matter be attached with legal aid organizations get cases there from initially you have to be patient don't run after money this is i am look after you can say after 24 years of practice you can say that do you know what will be our condition if we do not run after money i shall state i also passed a very crucial period like you but you have to be focused focus agar hil gaya to your practice hil jayenge do not shift from your focus anything more another i have tried to touch almost all the corners everything, everything. everything. far as one thing sir you pointed out that is very good that at the time of objection raising objection you have to raise objection at the time of examination in chief also if it is not stated in 161 or once if that also you have to object because this is not the part of that 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 is one thing at the time of 161 statement you were not getting any opportunity of raising before objection court, before the court before court yes before 161 is recorded by the police exactly at that point of time we are not getting any chance of raising but before court yes when that person is coming yes. to give his or her depositions yes at that point of time you have to yes if it is not there in 161 and 164 you have to raise objection this is not the part of 161 or 164 if there is 164 if uh, it is not the part of 161 you have to say that it is not there there in 161 at the time of examination in chief you have to object and you can bring by your of it is true that it is not that at the same is. time another part i must bring to your notice sometimes prosecution witness stated nothing against you suppose they did not say anything against you do not try do not allow your witness to state everything at the time of cross examination your client may say sir apne kuch nahi kaha maine aapko fees deta hu itna ye hota hai sir it happens <laughs> it happens see the other lawyers uh, he talks so many things he has said so many submissions yes. and you did not you did not say anything unhone itna kuch bol diya ya main aapko fees de raha hu ye hota hai sir ye these things we are facing and my kaam log kya bolte see अगर बिना वो बोले कुछ मिल रहा है तो ले लो बोल के अगर हम केस बिगाड़ रहे हैं तो फायदा किस पे उसको बिना वो बात पड़ेगा आपको बिना बोले कुछ इतना मिल गया है अनदर अनदर थिंग आई शुड एडवाइस यू टॉक टू योर क्लाइंट 
Doc generally, people they say against doctors. Doctors do not say anything. Doctors do not disclose anything about the uh, sickness, about the condition of the patient. That's why there is a communication gap between doctors and patient. I shall state, I shall advise you, sit with your client, hear what they want to say, try to be at par with your uh, yeah, patient. It is very important. It's very important. It's Number very important. two, sometimes some of the senior lawyers, they say, don't be sentimental with your client. I say, yes, be sentimental. If you fight a case with your heart, your client will also feel that my lawyer is fighting a case with, with the heart. He will also appreciate. Maybe the result may not, may not come in your favor, but your client will appreciate that yes, my lawyer, he or she, has tried for me, has fought for me. First you hear, some of the lawyers, they say, Kitna time denge hum? Itna dek se tum bulkte ja rahe ho? Mera koi dusra kam hai ki nahi? No, do not do this. If it is a trial case, sit with them. Before starting trial or after the date, date is, suppose uh, examination in chief is over. Suppose the next date is fixed for cross-examining of the witness, sit with them. Hear first what he wants to say. Maybe you got a point which you did not notice on earlier occasions. Sit with them. Allow them to talk. And then fight a case not only with this heart, with this also. Then only you will get satisfaction, you will get appreciation, and thereafter fees. <laughs> Alright. Yes, yes. Basic things. So you have said that we should not run after one. That is that is primary thing. That is primary thing. Even if, when I joined my like um, this practice, I never thought like I'm little bit early. It is not that I earn so much. I never thought at that I would earn. I was thinking that at least I'll be engaged with some in some work. Once I well, I entered this profession, uh, my senior is a renowned senior. Like is a good lawyer. Uh, so I went into his chamber, I joined his chamber. I didn't know initially. I was totally blind what is to be done. He used to go somewhere for a meeting or something. And I used to be in the chamber. Then what I used to do, and I don't know what is to be done. I'm in chamber, there's no one. Then I used to go and I used to see old files. I have seen so many old files that I used to turn. I knew the stamp, you know that the stamp, the red stamp, the course piece, course piece. Yes. In Wakaratnam, I was aware that that, okay, that is the most important thing which we need at every like step. Whenever we we have to file application, we have to paste that. Uh, this I was aware, and I used to check out that all the you know the old stamp from that um, this thing. Then later on, uh, my senior he asked me to draft uh, a counter affidavit, and I said that see, I just joined the chamber for like one month only. He's asking me, it is his duty. But I was like, thinking like. Oh, why is he asking me to do um, um, draft uh, counter affidavit? It is his duty. Then I realized. He said that I'm not going to draft. I'm designated senior. I am not supposed to draft. And I was shocked. What am I supposed to do? I don't know anything. Then he said that you just go and see there are files. I'm like, no, in the, the file. You just read that. Then I took the file. Then I read the files, um, how uh, the counter affidavit is to be drafted. Before that, I went, what is the read petition? So I read the read petition. Okay, and then I read the counter affidavit. Then I started drafting. I think I took one or two dictation from my senior. Thereafter, I did not. I used to do that. So that way, I never thought, and I never, my senior also like, no, it's not, a, this, I never asked money. And I feel like, uh, he is a more or like, he's a social worker. He never used to ask money from the time also. There is a kahamat in English. Yes. Turn the page, yes. learn the matter. Yes. Turn the page, learn the matter. Now, and you have to attend your senior's chamber also. Yes, sir. Every task particle of your senior's chamber is valuable. I used Suppose to you are not getting any positive work. You are sitting over there. You are thinking my senior is not providing me any work. But you can hear something 
from the discussion and you will learn there from oh, what says out there. And for the cross examination also, initially I was not aware how to cross examine the witness. Then I used to ask some other seniors, uh, those who are good in criminal law, law, like the criminal practice. Then I used to see all files of the similar nature of case, like no, if it is a uh, like a separate theft case, I used to see how the question is to be put to the like uh, the witness or the I.O. that we have to read. So how the question, the, how what, how he has uh, put question to those witnesses? I used to see all cross examination. It is not that it is the same cross examination I am going to do, but I will have a basic knowledge of how uh, the cross examination is to be done. You have to hear yes. cross examination that is appearing in the court. I even my juniors like uh, most of this uh, like those who are present here. They, you have said I'm so happy that you said whenever some arguments is going on in the court, when she is arguing, you have to be there. And Love I to want to add one more thing to that. We are missing other part of the cross examination and the argument. When a person, a, a practicing lawyer, maybe like a, who is arguing or who is cross examining, that from them also we learn. We should not do that mistake. Okay. Another thing, cross -examination another thing, is that another thing needs to, to take be into consideration. Uh, discussed yes. in a case of circumstantial evidence, yes. motive plays a vital role. Exactly. At the same time. When you are appearing for defense, you have to try to get the missing link. What is the link which is missing between the accused persons and the offense? This link is very important. Prosecution, they have to bring this missing link. And defense, they have to show that there is a link missing. The chain is not complete. How can you do that? You are, I have said, you are not a detective, neither you are God. You have to do that only basing upon the expertise. Only basing upon the, um, only basing upon not only the expertise, only you have to appear in a case, either on behalf of prosecution or with the defense, by the heart. Use your heart also in a case. Be sentimental. Be accustomed with the mind of the client. Try to hear what they want to say. Link is very important. Ask them, what do you think? What could be the link between the offense and you? For, for defense. And when you are appearing for prosecution, ask them. Most of the prosecution lawyers, they do not want to discuss with the, with the victims or the victim's family. Prosecution witnesses, prosecution lawyers also have to sit with their, their uh, witnesses. Otherwise, this is not their duty to go to the court and to say, No, prosecution also, prosecution lawyers, they also read the section. Either it is under 302, then motive and intention, sorry, then intention and knowledge has to come, or 304B, or 304, there is a thin line between murder and culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Yes. Mm. So you have to bring the differentiation, see under which section charge has been framed. 304, all right, 304. 304 part 1, all right, 304 part 1, or part 2. Or 304B. Understand, there is another thin line between 304A, death due to negligence, and 304, culpable homicide not amounting to murder. First, you have to study the sections. Then you have to sit with your clients. Then if you are a prosecution lawyer, sit with the other witnesses. What they want to say. What will be beneficial for you prosecution to bring out through their mouth. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you. But I will advise you, Pay some time here, sit in your senior's chamber, attend senior's chamber please, At, please attend senior's chamber and thereafter you attend the court regularly. Each and every time you use your eyes, either you read a book or you read a brief. When I was coming, I was waiting in the airport for long, I was reading this book. There are so many sections which I missed when I was, in a, I, I was a student which I missed even when I was a lawyer. I got some time at airport, flight was delayed. I started reading, I started reading. 
watch this section, this section. Use your eyes. Till we are alive, jitna din hum zinda hai, we shall use our eyes on these books. There are so many sections, so many acts. Use books. Director sir said that everything is our fingertip through Google. But I will say, use books. Google will give you information, but Google will not give you heart. You have to, you have to swallow these books. All the sections, all the articles. Yes, you can say, this is not possible, but I can say, possible. At least once read books. Do not go by, by WhatsApp, Facebook. Do not waste your time in WhatsApp and Facebook. Please read books. There are so many judgments. In these days, young lawyers, you will get the advantages of getting SEC online, Supreme Court cases online. In our young age, we used to go by uh, journals only. But in these days, you are getting the help of SEC online. You are getting the other journals online. Use those. Each and every minute you use for your future, for to become a good lawyer. I am not saying about to become a rich lawyer. I am saying about a good lawyer. Let people come to you. Let people get some kind of satisfaction while they are sitting in front of you. At least I am getting uh, satisfaction after... Uh, at least I got some satisfaction after today's discussion. At least let, they, let them go out of your chamber with this satisfaction. Alright? Sir, ask them how was the program, how was my lecture? Mohan Aswati. Ashun. Do you have any questions anymore? I have tried to touch everything, almost, which you will face on a regular basis. We were supposed to have a discussion on free bargaining also. That I said that at least to uh, conclude the entire criminal trial for plea bargaining and for another subject was given, I have to come once again. Yes, otherwise, yes, otherwise we need to meet again. It will not be possible to complete everything. Okay, okay. In that case, I could not have give answers to your questions. Exactly, exactly. Mm. All right, good We will be happy if you come again. <laughs> not again, Sir, again and yes. again. Again and It will be my uh, uh, proud opportunity yes, if I get a chance of coming once again. Please come. It was very, very good uh, like, um, sessions. We enjoyed it. Thoroughly and very much. I thoroughly enjoyed them. I think my sisters and brothers, they also enjoyed. Uh, For e bargaining and probation of offenders, that yes. I shall come once again. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jayanta sir. Um, with this, we come to the end of today's session. Uh, I would like to invite on stage uh, Learned Director sir to uh, give, his, give a vote of thanks and call an end to this program. Now we have come to the